Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to Kerbal Explosion Program. A game where basically you get a high score if you blow the hell out of everything. That's, that's how this game works. The point is, you blow up kerbals as much as possible. Because kerbals are monsters. They, they, like, they drown puppies, they pull the legs off kittens. They're generally bad people. So bad, in fact, that we have funded an entire space program for the specific purpose, the stated specific purpose, of actually murdering them. Which is what the Kerbal Space Program is. It is an elaborate way of getting revenge on the kerbals for the horrible things that they did. Horrible. Claire's, Claire's, Claire's not buying it. Claire's not buying it. So, no. welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I think, like, the most commonly requested thing we actually get in the stream. Certainly, kind of, it, it's certainly up there. It's certainly up there with one of the most commonly requested things we actually get. So, um, let's let's talk about the history of this game. Because I was, I was reminded by a very, very uh, pressing person who remembers a tweet from four years ago. I lied to you in the announcement. I have played this game once before for 15 minutes three or four years ago. Where, like, I didn't bother doing the tutorials. I literally just sat down with it for 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Um, then I completely forgot about it. So, um, that was that. Then yesterday, let's just go over to the actual, the actual game here. Hang on, just load that up. There we go. Good, you can see the mouse and everything. Uh, basically, what I did was I went into the training mode. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot of training in this game, so I couldn't be bothered with all of that. Um, so instead I just did, like, the, the basic ones at the top. Uh, but when I got to, like, advanced construction, I started failing them. Because I couldn't figure out what it was trying to tell me to do in advanced construction. Then in go for orbit, it told me to do, like, a controlled burn. But I think my burn wasn't controlled enough. I ran out of fuel and, and we just got stuck in space. and We just floated off. Um, so basically, I'm not good enough to do the basic tutorials. Never mind any of these, like, tutorials. So that's that's the level I'm at in Kerbal Space Program. Claire, what's your experience with Kerbal Space Program? Well, I know that people have been asking us to play it on the stream for a while. Excellent. Okay, good. That's that. That's it then. Good, good, good. Um, so I was thinking, and people can can like correct me if I'm wrong. I thought the most sensible thing we could probably do is start off in science mode. Um, because basically sandbox mode, you get literally everything. Career mode, you've got restrictions to like funds and reputation and whatever. Whereas science mode, there's no funds. And there's no reputation system, um, but you do unlock parts as you go along. So rather than us being like completely having no idea what ten bajillion parts do, I thought like us doing science mode as a starting point might be a good idea. Because if we did starting points as science, if we did like um, science mode as a starting point, even then, yeah, we'll have like you know, me and Claire will be able to get to grips with the basics. Then we'll start unlocking a few more parts, and then maybe if the progression's a bit slow, we can jump into sandbox later for a great big final. Grabby final push. Does that sound sensible? I'm just going to let the chat I mean, catch up. I mean, it doesn't sound sensible, John. Okay, it sounds as sensible. The fact that there's no funds sounds sensible. Because, uh -huh. like, I think, like, us getting into, you know, us getting to the moon full stop is a good starting point. Us, like, getting to the moon, like, on a budget, that's unreasonable. I think we should have, like, no budgets involved whatsoever. I think that strikes me as reasonable. Okay, in the chat, JB is saying uh, you should start with science mode, otherwise you might get the parts all confused in sandbox. Yeah, I and, agree. And um, SC Firestorm is saying no quick save or quick load. That uh, seems like... That, that seems like... Well, if this, a bit over the well that's fine. I mean, like, if things explode, then we just relaunch them. It's fine. Uh, I think that seems oh, sure. fair. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that seems yeah, reasonable. Yeah. Let, let's not save scum. So no one's, like, immediately said, no, John, science mode's terrible. And and something. Is everyone just, like, pretty fine with this? Is this plan? Um, is this a good plan? There are people saying sandbox. I mean, we could... It looks a bit even to me. Shall we do a poll? Let's Let's start with science. We'll start with science. And if it is, if it seems too slow, we'll go to someone's. Because, like, the sure, thing you've got to understand is, like, Claire and I don't know what any of these parts do. So having a limited number of parts so we get to grips with it is a good idea. All I know is the basic controls. Let's start off with 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 science mode, which we will call science. Not science. <laughs> no, no, no extra Vs, though. Science. Science! There, we got it that time. Oh, you know how to spell science. That's a really good start. That's a good start, yes. Mm -hmm. So, let's kick this off and, and figure out what the bloody hell we're doing. So, uh, welcome to the space center. Yes, Claire? Yeah, uh, Kyle in chat is saying you should set up no Kerbal respawn in options. No, no, no Kerbal settings. Respawn. Audio. I thing. don't know if it might be, like, 
some kind of a... Well, too late for that. Oh, well. Um, we don't know what that does, so that's fine. Right. I've got a couple of people saying you should definitely use quick save. Uh-huh. Those people oh. are cowards. Those people are... What's that over there? It's just, it's just a thing over there. Why is there a thing over... There's a mysterious... Black, I'm more in Okay, I know there's a space program over here. I'm kind of more interested in the fact there's a mysterious black thing over there. Like, how do we how do we get to that? Can we can we move... How do you, how do you move the camera faster? Can you, the, you don't move the camera any faster than that? I'm kind of curious what the black thing is. Claire, have you got anything to say while I try and find the black thing? Yeah, we've uh, got a few super chats, uh, starting with a couple of requests from uh, regulars. Oli Oli uh, gave us five euros and said, uh, Can John sing Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra? Um, we've also got, he's not listening, but I'll remind him. Fly me to the moon, let me something among the stars. Let me something, something, something. Something in Mars. I'd, I'd be a great. I think I can't even get any closer. I think I'm not allowed to get. What is that? There's just a mysterious dark thing over there. I don't like it. I don't like the fact it's watching the space program. You shouldn't be watching the space program, stupid weird thing. Uh, yes, anyway, Claire, carry on. <laughs> Sorry. The chat is highly amused by you just going all the way over there to figure out what this thing is. Um, what is it? Do they know what it is? What's the mysterious? Okay, hang on. We should have some security around the cocking space program. We shouldn't Someone just like. Says it's a shrine. I'm not sure if that's true. We shouldn't just like you know say hey with a space program. Oh, there's a mysterious massive dark thing over there. Should we? Nah, don't worry about it. I'm sure it doesn't pose any risk to the space program. Bloody hell. Uh, right, so because we don't have any funds or whatever, yeah, basically the big thing that we've got in science mode is there's a research and development, which just gives us some basic parts. Then we have to earn science part or science points to unlock new stuff. So I need to get research. Now, as I understand it, you get research by doing like experiments and basically by doing space stuff. So to do space stuff, we go into the like hangar and, and we build like space. Okay, people are saying it's a monolith. It's a black monolith from 2001. Ah, okay. That's cool. Mm. Right, so we, we haven't got that much. <laughs> Shout out to Krogan and Dan who said it's a monument to Steve. Okay, we really don't have much right now. Okay, we really just have the basics. So this will actually work as a good introduction for you, Claire, given you, 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 you're unfamiliar with this game. So basically, we're going to get... Well, I don't think we're going to get to space with this. We're going to basically... We're going to have a module. A Kerbal lives in one of them. A Kerbal is one of these things down here. They're just little green dudes. Yeah, that's right? what I figured from the thumbnail. So he lives in there. Um, we want him to go up. To get him to go up, we're going to need an engine. So I'm just going to stick an engine. There doesn't seem to be a, a fuel tank. So does that have any fuel in it? I hope this has got fuel in it. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to need... We don't need structures. None of this is there. We're going to put some... Okay, I'm going to put some... Some People were saying, hey, remember to stick like fins on the side of it. How many fins can you have? You can have eight. I'm going to put the maximum number of fins on. I'm going to have eight fins. That is going to be so cocking stable. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to do science because we need to unlock things. So as I understand it, basically the science experiments, you, you like you click on them and you open them. And depending on what like bit of space you're in or what planet you're on, the goo inside the mysterious goo canister reacts differently. So logically, I could maximize science you see, by taking loads of canisters and then just opening them as I go up and then come down again. And that logically makes sense, right? So I'm going to take like eight canisters with me and then I would need to remember to put a parachute on top because once it's gone up, it probably wants to come down again. Yeah? Yes. Yes. The chat is literally spamming. Please tell John not to forget about parachutes. It's fine. Okay. There you go. So this is the absolute basis. I just want to kind of. I thought this would be a good starting point because not everyone here has necessarily played Kerbal before, and I certainly bloody haven't. So I just thought this might be a good introduction. So pod thing that makes pod go up, thing that stops pod coming back down too quickly. Next up, staging. Claire, this is an important one. Yeah. Um How do you how do you you stage? Okay, you need to basically do things in stages where you you move between the stages by hitting space bar so you start at the high stage and you count down so stage one is this thing fires and takes yeah. thing up stage two is prime the parachute so when you fall the parachute opens you don't want them to open you don't want those things to happen at the same time yeah so sure having them in different stages is important and then 
There was something about, like, I think if you maximise the pressure here, the parachute doesn't activate till the last minute, which is good, because it'll save me time. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, so that's fine. So that parachute now will activate to the last possible minute. And this should all work. And because it's got fins, it'll work. Uh, now Claire, do we have anyone who wants to name a spaceship? Because we've got a lot of spaceships to name. Well, I'm sure it'll, uh, come up, but, uh, I haven't noticed anyone yet who was saying that. Because we haven't been saying we would be naming things, uh, mm -hmm. so far. Okay, well, we, we're gonna be naming every single spaceship we build. So, you get in those suggestions for the spaceship names, because we've got a lot of spaceships to name. Oh, while well, waiting for the first name, Claire, do you wanna get us caught up? Yes, yes, I do. Carry on. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, shout out to Sir Roderick Quincy von Thunderbottom, the magnificent high king of Australia, who gave us five Australian dollars and said we need a John to sing Aerosmith's I Don't Want to Miss a Sing for his, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing for his first launch. Also, we need a Wallace and Gromit Forgot the Crackers reference. Excellent. Well, this is, this is certainly going to be a grand day out, so that oh, is absolutely okay. fine. Anyone jumped in with immediate suggestions? Because right now it's just called generic spacecraft, which is kind of sad. Uh, we have quite a few. Uh, wait a second. This is a How much of the things even going to take off, by the way? Because it's got it. There's literally no fuel. Uh, there's no fuel tank. So if I've got no fuel tank, where's the cooking fuel? Am I just kind of? Uh, we just. Is it positive thinking that's going to get this? Th okay. You know what? It's going to be fine. We'll try it out in a minute. Uh, we've got the Benor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The, do, 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 what did we also get? Uh, name it Steve. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Fennell gave us two dollars and said it's a trash can full of boom. <laughs> um, uh, Elias Lipka gave us 20 Swedish kroner and said the Thunderbottom is a perfect name for a rocket. That seems reasonable and it vaguely, and, it, and you know, given the first person who got it, you were saying it was uh, our good friend Quincy Lord Von Thunderbab. That's vaguely close. Now, I think that was the point. Yes. Sure. I think That's that is cool. reasonable. Right, let's take this thing to launch. And we're going to see if All I've right, done this. before you launch. Yes. Uh, don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to Because I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing. Woo! Shout out to Thomas Anastasia, who gave us $5 and said, remember to check your staging before you launch. Oh, shit. Um, I was like, um, okay, um, wait, what the, did, what, what are you, what are you open? Open the hat, no, open the, open the hatch, open the, observe, right, it needs to, needs to open, uh oh, what's, okay, I need to, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I've staged the parachute, Re reset the experiment, just open the, open the, open the, how do you, wait, how do you open the thing? Open the, no, that's a command pod, that's a, oh shit, it's falling over, uh, it's, I think it's fine, I think the parachute is, yeah, the parachute's primed, so this is fine. Um, have we opened the, observe the goo, have we opened the, the thing, the goo jiggles and wobbles, right, transmit that data, yep, yeah, that's fine, that's all fine, keep that experiment, why not, uh, just, just keep, keep doing that, yeah, observe more goo, what happens to the goo while we're falling? The, the goo continues jiggling and wobbling. Okay, we're falling. I'm sure, is, isn't the goo your um your fuel? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, and well, the parachute we've got a opens. Of messages. Uh, Benjamin Rich gave yep. us two dollars and said, "John, you're flying a solid rocket booster." And Alexander Schmidt in chat uh, gave us some clarification from that. It's a solid fuel stage. It's basically aluminium, uh, iron oxide, and oxidizer. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the goo possibly is in fact your fuel. Is are you sure? Because I feel like the goo we were just opening up. We're not sure. We're talking about rocket science. I'm guessing from the comments. Okay, so <laughs> I just want to point out we made the we told the rocket to go. It did go. We performed an experiment, and then the parachute opened. So Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Yeah, uh, we've also got. Some, uh... Oh shit! Why did that happen? Okay, I know how you can also, find out Also, he seems to be fine. Happened. He's fine. I know how you can find out why that happened. Oh, though. yes. What what did happen? What went wrong? Well, I don't know exactly what went wrong. I mean, I, w I would have decoupled from the thing, but we literally don't have a decoupler yet. Oh, I should have taken him over the sea. Or, you know, put in a decoupler, but whatever. No, there's no decoupler. We don't have a decoupler yet. Anyway, um... Thank you to Neil Marshall, who uh, gave us five pounds and said, in the hangar bottom right, there is an orange cog. This tells you exactly how you flipped up. 
Um, and that Orange. is uh, the Orange. engineer's report. Yeah, so before you launch, you check it. It tells you what you flipped up. Also, he wants to know if there are any missions available. Uh, no. I don't think missions or contracts show up in this mode. So how do I get out of this? How do we get out of this mode? Docking. Staging. Toggle. No, that's space. Now I'm in space. How do I how do I get out of this mode? I need to I need to direct direct control to direct control to resources things. Um the the tracking station space station say How do I make this how do I just get out of this view? Escape? I'm gonna pull this lever up. Escape. No, escape just is pause. Science science. Resume flight. Uh, this is apparently the view inside the thing, by the way. Despite the fact it blew up. Still got a view inside it. Stage. Thing. Orange cog did that. Where, where was the orange cog? Uh, he said... Bottom right. Bottom right. It's not there now. Oh, we, they're oh. saying press C to escape this. Press C. Okay. Right. Well, maybe... maybe. Oh, no. He is fine. It's just that the thing blew up, but he was actually okay. So he actually made it back safely. So how do we wrap this up? Because technically, we're done with this. We're done with this. Like, we, we did some experiments. We did some experiments. I'm just going to observe the mystery girl when it's on the ground. There we go. It doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Keep that experiment. Because we did. We actually did a bunch of experiments. We did a few experiments. Okay, so regarding the goo. Yes. Uh, Richard in uh, chat says it's a solid rocket. It's like a firework. Yeah. So, like, it doesn't have fuel. Ah, it blows okay. Up at the beginning. Uh, the green goo is a science experiment. Right. So, so thank you for that. So people, now that we've got this thing back down the ground, how do I like so how do I like bank those points and say this flight is over? Let's go to the next flight because I don't want to revert the flight you, or whatever. You can observe the goo. Apparently, says Crusader Templar. Observe the yeah. I just did that with one of them, and now it doesn't oh, seem to sorry. be it doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. Um, mm -hmm. Do I need to? I'm going to transmit this data. Um, transmitting this experiment will render this module inoperable. Transmit the data. No usable in-range comms devices. Oh, I can't transmit the data because there's... Hmm. Okay. So how do we, like, recover him in that case? I think I need to, like, it, the, the game's still acting like I'm in control of this thing. Like, I think I can make him spin. I can make it spin. How do we officially say, hey, this flight's over at this point? I don't know. Hmm. Chat. Help us out here. But uh, a massive shout out to uh, PhD Pepperman who uh -huh. gave us fifty dollars. Uh, oh, thank you very much, very PhD Pepperman. Generosity. Uh, that was too perfect of a first launch. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> oh, I can make it rock. Oh, I can make you upside down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it home. I'm just gonna make it roll. Okay, the the space station's over there. So all I need to do is I need to make it go this. There we go. There we go. No. Oh, John. Yes. No. Yes. It's fine. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the SES, which I think like stabilizes it. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just gonna. Um, if mouse I mouse at the top of the screen. Mouse the what? Over, mouse over the altimeter. At the top. Ah, recover vessel. Yeah. Right. So we've recovered the vessel, which I feel like is is legitimate. Okay. Thank so... you, chat. We. I. I literally have no idea what we would do with thank you dollars. chat so that means we've picked up 17 sciences so recovery of the vessel that survived a flight gets you five science we've done a whole bunch of observing the science but just like you get diminishing returns after the first time you observe it because we, we didn't get that high so i've got 17 science and jebediah kerman survived there was a ex small explosion underneath him, but it did not kill him. So now we can go to the R&D lab and buy more advanced stuff. So, for example, a swivel liquid fuel engine, a solid fuel booster, and a fuel tank. Ah, you see a fuel tank. That strikes me as useful. That's for five science. Or down here, a thermometer. What does that even do? Thermometer, um, warranty void. Yeah, what does that do? Someone tell me what the thermometer does, as well as a, a protonic electronics. A, oh, a decoupler. I feel like I need a decoupler. Yes. Okay, I should probably just buy both of them. Buying both of the basic things is a good idea. And we've still got 7.3 sciences left, but now it's 20 sciences ago or something. Right. So, now we can get higher. Okay. This is important, because now we've unlocked new science. Um, I need to figure out... Okay. I think probably we just scrap this and we start again. Um, so, hang on. Just... just no? Yeah, give me a no. Right, okay. So, um, chat, this is the time where you're going to want to be suggesting a new thing. 
a new, a new name. Yeah, a new so, thing. Okay, so we've got a message from uh, Tough Talk. Uh huh. Oh, hello, Tough Talk. My number one man. Uh huh. Um, she gave us two Australian dollars and said, "Name name one after me, please. But need make it the last one." The last one. Okay. I don't know about that. Yeah. He's gonna manage to murder the last one too. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between these uh, two? The temperature. Now the. The thermometer is like the goo canister. It lets you do more science. Ah. Um. <laughs> okay, that's that uh, makes Ina sense. Ina says, "John, do the tutorials." All caps. No, never. We're gonna. <laughs> you, you guys are my tutorial. That's what you guys are. You guys are my tutorial. Okay. Now the thing is, what I want to do is I want to make it into into space. So logically, if I want to get into space, I'm gonna need like plenty of like fuel so one let's put a decoupler in so there's a decoupler which will get rid of all this like other stuff after i'm done next i'm gonna need loads of fuel because we want to get really high so if i i think you hold alt and then click yeah hold alt and then click and then hold alt and then click fine so plenty of fuel that's loads of flipping fuel right there and then i just need a, an engine i just need a big old engine now what's the what's the best engine Swivel, hammer, solid fuel, widely used whenever they need to save cash. Uh, well, let's use the better one. Let's use a swivel. I'm just going to put a swivel under there. All right, that's all fine. So now at this point, the plan is basically just fly like really far using all this flipping fuel. All right, fly really far using fuel, then decouple, then do experiment in space. Speaking of which, where's the where's the science? We've got a uh, We've got a thermometer, so let's just take, let's just take like two of them, and we'll put them on the outside of the actual probe here. Uh, so yeah, we can just like put like two of them out there, and that will. Do we actually have to like click on those to do things? I don't know. And then we'll take like two goo canisters as well. We'll stick one of them on the door because that's space efficient. All right, and then we'll just stick some like aerodynamics because aerodynamics is good, and we'll stick some here. And we'll stick some different ones, like fancy ones, like here. There we go. Right, no, 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 no. That'll do. Right, there we go. So now, there's a nice little, like, artistic pattern of fins here. Got loads of fuel. We've got a great big rocket and loads of fuel, so therefore we can get way higher. So, as a result of that, we can do different, more interesting experiments and get loads of science. Because we're going to measure okay. how hot space is. Because I'm going to guess space is cold. Yes? Um, we've got a message from uh, Lambeline who gave us $2 and said, SRBs do not use fuel tanks, but the swivel does. So you might want to check on that. S S R S R B S R S R. I think... I think SRB is the kind of uh, rocket you had earlier, and this is like a bigger one, and therefore it needs a fuel tank. What does SRB it? stand for? Because this is solid fuel booster, which therefore I assume the acronym for will be solid SFB. Oh, solid rocket. Okay, so anything with solid written on it just flies by itself. Yeah, because it's like a giant firework, apparently. Right, and liquid fuel science, right? and liquid leads. You need to. Pu okay, well this is fine because the way I've built this thing, yeah. like the liquid is going to logically go glug 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 down. So it's going to be like draining a barrel of fuel into the bit where the fuel goes boom. Well, the chat can tell us if that's going to make you die. No, I think that's fine. I think I'm happy to just get that onto the launch pad. All um, right, but make sure to uh, check the report, the engineering report with the orange cog like we were told to do earlier. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And the staging um, is correct. So thing blasts off, then decouples once we're done, then we prime the parachute. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we need a name. We need a name for this. Okay, so uh, we were going to name one... We've named one Thunderbottom. Yep, Thunderbottom. Uh, we are going to name one after Tough Talk. Yep, uh, but later, <laughs> once we've got the kinks out of the system. Uh, yeah, sure, that's totally what's going to happen. Uh -huh. uh, we got suggestions for the Steve, the Benel. Uh, we had like a proper suggestion. A proper suggestion? No, what? No, I mean, I mean... Uh, on Benel's wings, I think was... Oh... Oh, on Ben or's wings. Yeah, there you go. Uh, shout out to Paul, mostly caffeine, who gave us two pounds and said possible ship name. 
on Bernard's wings. Acceptable. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, let's get this out onto the thing and see if I've done this right. Because I'm aware at this point we're dealing with things like there's issues related to don't fall over. Hope we did this. We probably needed like some form of like stead. This thing doesn't look stable to me. Do no, is there a, is there a bit hanging out the back? Is that supposed to be there? Like, I feel Let's like... just say it's the fire, it's the exhaust pipe. I mean, that bit feels... Yeah, that makes sense. That's the exhaust pipe. Right. Let's, let's go with that. Right, so logically, what we want to do now is, yeah, if we just launch immediately, all we want to do is just get as high as possible. So, activate. Activate. Well, that's great. Something's you... gone wrong with the design. Is there maybe like a um, ignition thing that you didn't put in? That would logically make sense, yes. Turn on SAS. I'm not sure what that means. Oh yeah, okay. They're saying what you need is to throttle up by pressing T. Oh yeah, and then I think at this point we've we've staged past that. Yeah, um, I can do that with. I think it's. I thought it was Z and X. Z Z X and also Shift and Control. Yeah, I knew about that. I just forgot to. Okay, basically. Okay, pretend that didn't happen. Re re reset. Revert the flight. Revert the flight. Yeah, revert to launch. It's fine. Shout out to uh, Krogan Dan who gave us fifty pounds and said uh, first live live stream. Thank you for all the hours of nerdy humor, John. You are great, but Claire is the better, and Tabby is the best. I'm not going to disagree that Tabby is the best. That's fine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for that. That's very generous. Um, and yeah, we've also got. Uh, we've yeah. <laughs> okay. Are mostly just amused by you. This time we've put it. We've put the throttle up. We've remembered to throttle. So this time when I hit launch. Hey! hey! Not dead yet. Now, we've got plenty of fuel, so logically we want to not activate, like, anything just yet. Do I, do I need to, like, tell this thing to take a temperature reading? Or does this thing automatically take a temperature reading? I think this thing automatically takes a temperature reading. Uh-oh! 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 Uh -oh. Claire! Claire! But that's not supposed to happen! That wasn't supposed to- that wasn't supposed to- Okay, activate the SAS! Activate the SAS to stabilise! Activate the SAS to stabilise! It's fine, we've- I think we we put the fit. It's still going. Is no, it's supposed to go up. It's supposed. Of... Shut up! It's fine. I, I just need to. <laughs> I just need to stay, stabilize the. I just need to. Ooh. The SAS isn't working. Okay, we're out of. We're out of everything. Right. Detach. Prime the thing. Um. Activate a pod. Uh. No. Activate a, a pod. Activate. Observe the goo. We didn't get that high. Okay. We we didn't get that high. Unfortunately. Now, I'm not sure why we spun off. There and also uh, press S for stability. I'm... That's what I did. I turned on the SAS, the SAS, whatever that is. Um, so we've we we got some temperature readings at least. So we should get some science out of this. Uh, SC Firestorm says this is why you don't use top fins. Apparently that's what. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, guys, the chat is going super, super, super quickly. I'm trying to. <laughs> How many people have we saying. got on here, by the way? Uh, we have got right now two thousand nice. uh, and two hundred people. Nice. I thought this might. I thought this yeah, might be a big one. I mean, like, okay, so I'm trying to figure out what it is that you should have done. Like, what didn't work? I think um, it's something to do with the fins being badly positioned. Right. Uh, you should press. T Mega Scrow says, press T at launch, he did it way too late. Black What's R says... Okay, that activates the RCS. What's the RCS? Because the SAS Rocket is... Rocket Science Control? That I'm would be RSC! <laughs> God damn it, Claire. Rocket Control Science? <laughs> control... No. That that's still wrong. Ah, figure out words that begin R, then C, then S. Rocket control science is R, C, and then. Yes, that's fine. That's what I said the second time. <laughs> you need to like listen to what I say before you start mocking me. All right. <laughs> okay, so we got this guy safety back home, and this time there shouldn't be an explosion because we jettisoned everything. All right, so recover the vessel. We should still get some science from the temperature readings, okay. right? Okay, uh, Goodbot says you should think of a dart when you're pla placing the fins, so they should be at the bottom. Why? Why Why at the bottom, not the top? Why scientifically should that be the case? Because presumably at the top they are making it spin rather than stabilising it. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. Right, okay, we need to take this one back to... Rotational control system, people are saying. 
rotation, rotational control system. Okay, let's just but get. But then they're coming up with a whole bunch of shit that just fits the initials, so I don't know if that's actually true or not. Okay, let's let's just put one set at the bottom. Okay, that one set towards the bottom. But what what I think we've discovered there is we don't have enough fuel to actually get high enough to do any interesting new stuff. So what actually? Okay. I've got a different plan. This, this is this, this just didn't work. So get rid of all of that. We're gonna start again. So okay. I've so got Jonathan, yes. Jonathan uh, says uh, RCS's reaction control system. You don't have RCS thrusters installed, but if you did, you could use them for steering. Mm-hmm. Use them for steering. Okay. Right. Okay. So I've got a plan here, which is we want to get as high as possible, right? That, that logically makes sense. Oh, yeah, 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 because of drag. It happens because of air resistance. You want the air resistance at the bottom. That is why we put the fins at the bottom. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Mal. So the thing is, the hammer solid fuel boost is not going to get us that far. But what happens if I were to stack several of them in a row, activating them, one each? Uh-huh, uh-huh, so one there, then a decoupler beneath it, all right, then back to an, then back to an engine, and then we just stick another one underneath that, right, okay, and then we just put another decoupler under there, all right, then we just put another one under that, okay, and then we just put another decoupler under there, all right, and then we just get a final one, a solid fuel booster, boom, now this... You see, when it runs out of fuel, I can just activate the next one, and it'll just keep going. That seems like it's going to end up being very wobbly, uh, just to uh, mention... Well, that's fine, because I'm going to put some fins on the side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba, -ba -ba -ba, fixed. Sure. That will uh, now work. Shout out to Paul, who gave us $10 and said, John, you should build a pyramid of space for us. Okay, a pyramid of space. Interesting idea. Yeah, interesting well, I'd say, okay, it. we'll see if this works first, because I think this is, quite frankly, cocking genius. Right here. Uh, okay. No, it will just burn up in the atmosphere. This will just get too heavy. This is not too heavy. This is fine. I'm going to see what happens uh, to it anyway. And the staging... Rain says, John, this is a very bad idea. This is a fine idea. I'm taking... Okay. says, John, that is not going to work. We learn how things work or don't work through failure. Joshua says, Claire is right. Max out the throttle. Look, we're just going to put it in fifth and then rev it till it goes. Activate fire! Mangala says this is one of the least stable configurations you can make. This is not, it seems to be working for me. I also want to put SAS Bart on. Bart says, let's call this one a Roman candle. Okay. It's Someone, in fact, uh, suggested that in the uh, super chat. So, uh, quick uh, shout out to them. Because, okay, know, and then we run out of fuel. And then we just activate the next one. And we just keep going. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, we're going up pretty slowly right now because of the small problem. Also, we're just slightly veering off course. Yeah, which, yeah, We're just yeah. slightly veering off course. Okay. The problem is we're burning fuel through... Yeah, this Press is... I think this thing's... Now. Are you T? Thrust, are you thrusting? Are you stabilizing? Are you I'm, I'm thrusting. T. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm, I'm keeping, I'm keeping that on. Right. Next. I'd say this is working better than people were assuming it was going to work. Uh, yeah, and so this one, uh, shout out to Anna and I Mouse, who gave us two pounds, and uh, it should be called the Candle Romance. That's a good idea. You see, the only the only real problem here is I didn't actually act, I didn't attach enough rockets to it. That's the only problem here. I think we've actually almost made it to space here. Look, I think that that's presumably like space there. Right, fuel, deactivate, and just basically drift up a bit further. And yeah, because we, we seem to be going up anyway, and activate the next one. This is actually the final one at this point. Um, so I think we've pretty much cleared. The yeah, look at this. This is working. I mean, Screw you all. Like I'm gonna, fire. I'm gonna activate the mystery goo. Seems to be getting very cold. Doesn't look like it's getting very cold. Right. So I'd say now we are almost burning out of our fuel, and I think we've almost made it into space. Uh, and prepare for the jettisoning of the final one. Jettison. I've just realised there's a small problem with the plan. Yeah. What is it? How do we get back down? Ah, oh, you figured that that's a problem, eh? <laughs> okay. Um, and we can also observe how the goo likes being in space. It's clumped into a sphere and has become brittle. You see, the problem is... Okay, so... 
I didn't foresee this as a problem. How did you not? I forgot that gravity, like, stops being a thing. Like, like... Oh, it... so you... Wait a minute, your plan for coming back was... Gravity? Like... I've got a parachute! I... You're in orbit now! I am... I'm, well, I'm not... I don't think I'm in orbit now. Hang on, go into map mode. No, 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 look at this. I will eventually come back. Uh, because I'm not in an orbit, I'm going to reach this point and then it's going to... No, this is going to work. Screw you. Look. <laughs> look at that. I'm going to get sufficiently far away from Earth. Then I'm going to run away. I'm going to run out of... Well, not momentum because not... The the Earth's gravity will catch up with me. Hang on. I'm just going to... Oh, no, no, no. Speed this up. Speed this the cock up here. I think, actually, 100 times speed, I'm going to get to that point. Then I'm going to start... For I'm coming back to Earth. Ha! Screw you. Screw you and screw the entire chat. I was right. This is actually going to flipping work. All right. Now I just need to... Right. Get, get over here. This is fine. This is absolutely... I've actually done it. Wait. Where's the, where's the thing? We're going to have a nice splashdown over here. I just need to remember to prime this when we get close. Do you think it can take the heat of re-entry, by the way? No, I, I'm pretty sure it can't. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Well, while we figure that out, Claire, because we're rapidly losing meters right now. Quite, yeah, 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 quite yeah. fast. We have, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of messages. Carry on, Claire, because we don't need to figure out what's going to happen uh, next. Shout out to Toa Pai, who gave us $5. Said, uh, hi, John and Claire, I love the channel. Can you name something after Dragon Age Origins? You're the best. I don't know anything in Dragon Age Origins, so you'll have to tell me what to name and what, what it should be named. Uh, we will do that, because Toe of Pie is uh, at the head of the Dragon Age uh, Origin contingent. Excellent. Uh, shout out to uh -oh. Anthony. Uh, there we go. Is everything else? How is everything? So apparently you need a heat shield. We don't have one of those yet. Okay, up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected. Up to that point. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would like to assume that we actually... Burn, baby, burn. I would chat. like to say that regardless, we broadly got some... I think we should have got some science out of that. I think How did you get some science out of it? All we of now know what materials exploded in We space. now know what not to do. That's how science works. You, the you, chat already knew what not to do. <laughs> well, I didn't, and now I do. Now I've realised I need something to get me like back. Except, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Why okay. Do you have a little think about that? If I just, if we just turn slightly and don't, like, go full on into space. Um, if we just turn slightly and go, like, not full on space. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Alexander Schmidt says, your angle was way too steep. You plummeted back towards Earth. Um, yeah, exactly. You need to I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to make. I'm going to be like a bit more shallow. Oh, that might be a bit too much. That might be. That might be a bit too much. Abandon. Abandon that. Abandon that. Abandon. That's. <laughs> Claire. No. Nice. Claire, I started. Claire, this has got. I need to. I just need to get it going up again. I just need to get it going up again. This... That is so what she said. Get to Claire's... No. 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 Gosh darn it! This doesn't often happen. This doesn't happen to me. <laughs> Just abandon that bit. Yay! There we go. We're going up again. We're going up again. We're going... Yes! 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 Stabilize! 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 Oh yes! We fixed it. We fixed it. I don't dare take my. Like there we go. There we go. There we go. Look. We're gonna... No! 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 No, yeah, no, this way, this way, this way, this this way, you stupid SAS system. Right, okay, now, abandon. Okay, now, <laughs> the pro- John, please just do the tutorial. No, the you chat. are, okay, now, now what we do is, now I'm in, like, kind of high space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna observe one group of mystery goo. Right, I'm gonna observe that goo. Yeah, we are, it seems to be getting very cold. Now I just need to, if I can just like gently touch space, right, if I can just gently, I think I'm just like inside space a little bit. I think I'm in space right now. I mean, am I in space? 
This feels like this is the highest point of the of of the thing. Right. So that didn't go exactly according to plan. I think when yeah, we're losing out we're losing altitude altitude now. Just just observe the thing. It's getting very cold. Keep that experiment. Okay. What we need is a transmitter so we can transmit the data even in the event that this all goes wrong. But at this point, I think actually we're not we're not like in space space. We're just like in like space. So actually, I think at this point we're fine. So I'm just going to, let's see if we can just speed this up a little bit here. Because I suspect now we're just going to come down. We're, no, we're going to pass through. Yeah, I think we've already passed through the bit where you like catch fire and explode. And ah. now the parachute comes on. And I think as soon as the parachute's <clears throat> active, we'll be fine. Hey, John. So uh, Goatbot on the chat says if you hold mod and press uh, comma or uh, full stop, um, it can speed up or slow down time. Yeah, I've, I saw that. I've seen the, the, the speed up options here, which speed things up a bit. That's good. And now we just gently drift down. Claire, you've got a moment while we're gently drifting down from this highly successful rocket launch. Sure To thing. tell us what's going on. Uh, shout out to Anthony, uh, who gave us $5 and said, sorry, I missed the last stream. Here's five worse dollars. And I won't get Claire to say chafed nipples. <laughs> um, I'm not going to give context. Um, shout out to Zykoria who gave us $25 and said, Heart your face. I missed the last live stream. Uh, um, I missed the last two weeks of live stream. Stupid adulting getting in the way. Happy to be here today. Oh, Cheers. welcome back. Yes. Uh, Micah gave us $5, said the black thing is a Dalek. A few people were also saying that if you're still interested in that thing, you can like build a little like um, ah, a little could... car to go and find it. That's cute. Yeah. Right. So this was highly successful. And presumably we'll get some temperature data out of this, right? Because we got uh, goo goo. What's the temperature thing? Do I, did I need to activate the temperature thing? I kind of thought it was just on. Well, actually, I got upper atmosphere, so I got an extra nine science from the fact that I turned that on from the upper atmosphere. So I was right. To basically say that I needed to get higher. That is true. So I think we basically, if we just take the same design, but we get even higher, I think if I just start if I just start turning a bit later, I can get up to the even higher atmosphere. Because atmosphere is like divided into like throttle up, remember to throttle up. Right. Jebediah Kerman is fine right now. So I just need, I'm gonna wait for the first rocket to be done. Because I think I activated in like this bit. I might, I, I'm, I'm gonna activate one there, right, and then one on like the very edge of space space. Alright, we've got, oh, oh. Yeah, space space, that's the scientific name for it. Yeah, activate, activate SAS, right, there's, why is it turning? Why is it, um, why is it, hang on, there's, can I, can I activate this? Okay, there we are, good, I turned off the, oh, I, oh, I forgot to turn on the next one, it's fine. Uh, right, no. Evan says you should attach more rockets and call it Kerbin. Yeah, no. No, 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 we got problems. Claire, oh, we got. No, someone sent in a uh, super chat that's just like numbers and instructions sound like they know what they're talking about. It's really weird. No, uh, that sounds like a terrible. Okay, so yeah. the, the, there's, there's something gone wrong here with the. With, with this, okay, we just need to we just need to stabilize and get it going. Why is this one going sideways when the other one nicely went up? The other one went up. What's wrong with this one? Why is this one determined to go off to one side? Let's revert to launch here. Figure out if I can figure out why that is. Yeah, revert to launch. Revert to launch. Because last time it just went up. And it was fine. So just activate this. Activate the SAS. Activate the RCS. Right. And now I just want it to go up. And I need to course correct if anything goes wrong. Because this is what I want. I just want to go straight up. For the time being. Once we get a little bit higher, we will gently start drifting. So we don't want to go like straight out into space. We need to be going at like an angle. Because then you can just like slide through the atmosphere like a knife through butter. There we go. This is the one. This is the one right here. So, next. Right, there we go. Deactivate and reactivate. Okay. So, just going up right now. This is oh, fine. Just start gently. Mostly caffeine. Gently uh, been off. pointing out that uh, after the first section detaches, you have no fins. So that's why it's going all... Um, ah, we need uh, fins so on everything. Them and thank you. Uh, they sent us two uh, pounds so it's for that. And the advice that as well is very much appreciated. Uh, shout out also to Rose, who gave us two Australian dollars and said, uh, so we come from straight from philosophy into a video game. Um, Here we and, go. Yeah. Uh, also uh, gave us two Australian dollars 
sure it does. Well, maybe that's because I keep calling it a man. Uh, it's a liar who gave us five pounds and said, uh, hello, here's some money to buy McMitty's Jaffa cakes. By the way, Clara is awesome. Thank you very, very much for saying that. Uh, shout out to Yannick who gave us five dollars and said, uh, Hawaii, I'm here for the rockets, said John Wonder. Before that time, when he accidentally created a one way street in space. Okay, now, okay, uh, I think we're running into the problem of the of the, the heat things again. Yeah. But that's fine, because now, now what I'm going to do is, I think I might, like, maybe accidentally be a bit in orbit right now. Okay? And now what we need to do is we need to do the other experiment, because we're out in space right now. This is space. Uh, no, darn it. Um, re reset the experiment. We're not in space enough yet. I need the experiment to be, observe the goo. I need the thing where it says it's in a sphere. Clumped into a sphere. Right, keep that experiment. Okay, now we just need to figure out how to get back without, like, exploding. Go over to here. I am right now in... Okay, that's that's not good. That's 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 not good. Okay, what we need to do is we need to... We need to turn this way, but now we've got no... Now we've got no fuel. Hmm. But now I, I've kicked that off. By kicking that off... Does that logically mean I've got no control right now, presumably, because I've got no thruster? Because I've got I've got no thrusters. What I should have done is kept one thruster behind. Maybe I needed more thrusters or more like solid state fuels. Because if I had more, then okay, we're naffing off into. Okay, I think the same thing's about to happen. I think the same thing's about to happen. But that was we we meant well. Okay, let's just get this up to times a bajillion speed. Okay, that's fine. Now, just a little bit faster. Bit faster, bit faster, bit faster. Bit, bit faster. There we go. And now we're approaching... Now we're approaching, like... Oh, oh, okay. We, we just arrived from time to time. Yeah, we need that heat shield. Yeah. Yeah. But do we not have that yet available to buy at all? I don't know. We might do. Maybe what we do is we say we just go back to the space center for the time being. And we I think we, we'd say this design needs some work. This this design needs a bit of work. Um, right, actually, hang on. Let's see if we can actually find that. Um, electrical. No, we've got literally no thermal right now. We've got no thermal. Uh, we've got some basic decoupling, handful of engines. Science, we've just got that thing. Let's go back to the R&D department. The R&D department, I feel like, yeah, leave this room. Let's go to the R&D, because I think we might have enough science to buy something new. Like this over here. Survivability. This seems good, and we've got enough science for this. Heat shield! Aha! Right, okay. This is fine. I think now we've actually got something here. So, we've got heat shields here. Alternatively, we've got stability for nose cones and winglets. I think that's fine. Or we've got more advanced general rocketry. Right, I we know what we need here. We need to actually have some heat shields. This also gets us a barometer, which is presumably additional sciencing. A radiator, just in case it gets cold in space, I guess. Um, a landing strut. Don't think we need one of those. And a radial mount... What's a drogue? Drogue. The drogue parachute. Oh, it's a, it's a parachute. Right, okay. Well, that's fine. Why, why do you need that? I've already got a parachute. It's fine. Well, it's a different type of parachute. Like, it's like a funnel kind of a shape. Mm-hmm. They use them on, like, um, you know, boats. Ah, okay. And then a service bay. Heat-resistant service bay, ideal for protecting delicate instruments or stowing small service uh, components such as the RCS tanks. Wait, what? Why do I... What, so what, I'm supposed to hide things in it, or...? You know, I'm going to research this. That seems like a really good thing to research. Alright, I have so many comments that are, like, actually helpful. So okay, Claire, let's let's have some, some actual, actual helpfulness, yes. Helpful. Actual helpfulness, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, um... Sorry. I feel like that was a false advertising. I've got so many useful things to say. Okay, carry on. Okay, sorry. There's, there's just many, many of them, alright? I'm um, just trying to get through everything. Shout out to the Lord of All Ducks, who gave us 100 Swedish krona and said a tip for science experiments. They give new or different results at different altitudes and environments. Try doing one science experiment before taking off. Yeah, that's what I was after, thinking, as yeah. An example, um, David Wellman says. Uh, 
um, oh wait, sorry, that's about where to get biscuits. Um, that's not science. Uh, Lambeline says the SRBs do not need fuel tanks, but the swivel does. So presumably the SRB was like the first one that you were using, and this one is the swivel. Uh, S SRB, yeah, these ones don't need fuel tanks because these ones just work on their own. So the swivel, the swivel does, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I got that. Now someone else was saying, sorry. Uh, Renzi was saying um, you can use rockets with fuel tanks instead of boosters, but you can attach the boosters to the side of the main body to have them anyway. You can use, hang on, what? Uh, they said you. Um, they said tell John to use rockets with fuel tanks instead of boosters. You can attach the boosters to the side of the main body. Why? Why do I need all of them at the same time? I am not sure. Surely it makes more sense to fire them one at a time, like I'm doing, rather than firing. Because if I'm firing all three at the same time, I'll just be burning fuel from all of them simultaneously. Mm -hmm. That strikes me as sensible. Well, you wanted more. Oh my goodness, Megaraptor! Hey, Megaraptor! <laughs> Hello. Um, Megaraptor gave us $250. I like you, Megaraptor. Uh, okay. Uh, he says, hi, John. Hi, Claire. How are you doing? I hope you guys didn't miss me. We did. We did, Megaraptor. I was in Canada for the last two weeks. I tried to send a donation last week, but I wasn't able to do for some reason. I don't know, but I hope you send a curveball into the sun. Other than that, nice to be able to watch. We're not trying to send curveballs into the sun. No, so. that's that's not what we're doing. That's the, I mean, I'm probably. Sure we'll manage it, but we're not trying it. Is... Um, Andrew gave us five dollars and said, uh, "John, you're creating less of spaceships and more of ICBMs." John, evil dictator, confirmed. We have no idea what ICBM min means. So intercontinental ballistic missiles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I had no idea. John knows <laughs> uh, about missiles. FYI, it's just basic um, history, really. Oh, I mean, it's basic. But it does really make sense that I've not learned that in school. Anyway, uh, Thomas Anastasio sent us two dollars uh, and said all signs must be clicked in order to activate it. Oh, um, all signs must be. How how does this heat shield thing work? Because I've the got heat, the heat shield goes under the capsule. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you very much, Kyle. What, why would that go under the capsule? That I feel like that doesn't help. How does that help? I mean, like insulation in a house, it doesn't go on the outside, it goes inside the walls. I guess that makes sense. This also needs to, okay, that needs to, okay, in which case, hang on, I need to, I need to figure out, if that goes in there, right, and that goes into, then that, that, then we plug that bit into there, then we plug that bit into there. Now, this pod has actually got a heat shield. Broadly, this thing should now be able to do what I always thought it should be able to do, which is get into space and then return. Because all I need to do is fly it straight up, and then as we've established, if I just basically burn through all four of these, then we get into space, then eventually gravity pulls it back in. Now with a heat shield and a parachute, everything's fine. So this thing is now ready, ready for prime time. Unless, of course, there's more science I can shove on the side of it. There is! There is a barometer. I'm going to shove a barometer on it. In fact, I'm going to shove four of them to make sure it's symmetrical. Wait, what? Sym sym circle symmetry count. Circle... What? Screw it, I'm I've put a barometer on. I think that's the two, one... Screw it, I think, I think there's two. Is there, is there a second on the other side? Is there a second on the... I think there's... I think there's a second, it's fine. Right, I'm gonna take this out to launch at this point. We're gonna launch that again. Now, this is gonna <laughs> the, work. Uh, well, the chat just said your heat shield is upside down, so I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Right, okay, d d back back to the back to the space center. Back to the space center. Uh, King William the Conqueror says, that's impressive, John. How did you, even, how did they even know that? And I was like, how do you, which key is it to zoom in? How do you <laughs> zoom in? In this, <laughs> how do you zoom in? I don't okay. know. Um, Just oh wait, hang on. What was that? Oh okay. Um, uh, that this is not. This cannot be the most efficient way to zoom in on this thing. Because I need to zoom yeah, in. Guys, how do we zoom in? How do we zoom in? Because right now I'm literally holding the middle button and right. very slowly. Okay, just okay. move th move this off here. Okay. Now where's the where's the where's the thing? No, you no not no. Hang on. The I, no, I need the I need the thing to. How do I get the... No, I don't need that. I need... You... 
I need you to- How do I select an individual piece? How do you select an individual piece without- Because this- this doesn't need to go to- Do I need to build- I don't need to build this again, surely, right? Okay, just, just to the- uh, Shift plus scroll. What? Shift, shift. Scroll wheel on Ah! Your there we go, thank you. Right, how do I select an individual piece without having to like build? Ah, there we go, I managed to find it, right. So, how do I flip this over? Is that better? I think that looks better. Do you think that looks better? Well, so what they are saying is that the heat shield is to protect from the uh, contact when you re-enter. Okay, right? should it should it so look it's like at it's the bottom? Should it look like it's concave or convex? So it should So the most drag and the most like stuff that you need protection from will come from underneath the rocket because it will be Yeah, but I don't know which bit's the, the top. Atmosphere. Okay, should this per it should be Okay, okay, wait a minute. Should the purple Carrie... bit be at the top or the or the brown be, bit be at the top? Carrie says it needs to be curved side down between the capsule and the coupler. Cur curve side down! <laughs> oh, look, I'm reading the shirt, mate! <laughs> this Shoot. is the best rocket science! It needs to be curved side down! It's Both sides are curved! That's how curves work! You convex. Can't... People are saying in the chat it should be convex. Convex down or up? You're the one who said fucking <laughs> convex! They're replying to you with one of two options you provided! Okay, is it, is it the, okay, it should it, should it, okay, idea. should it look, okay, let, 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 chat, should it look like a bowl or an umbrella? Ch just tell us, bowl <laughs> or umbrella? Which is correct, bowl or umbrella? Okay, uh, while, while we're waiting for chat to confirm <laughs> bowl or umbrella. Purple, um, brown side down, bowl side down. <laughs> Bulge sides down. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's fixed. Right. Okay. Oh dear. It now works. Okay. This now as a spaceship works. I'm launching. Yeah, the... yeah, definitely. Okay. There we go. Yep. Yeah, done. Said. Apply that guy. This is the new on Ben Or's wings. Then after this one, I think we need to design something new. Okay. So throttle up to max. Activate launch, activate SAS and activate RCS in order for maximum stability. So we can basically just go straight up. We can just go straight up, that'll save time. Now we just burn through the solid fuel and then we just double hit space bar to decouple, reactivate. So while we're going up, Claire, this will give you a moment. <sighs> Sorry, that was that was a little much. Uh, shout out to Ice Lord Cryo who gave us two dollars and said, "I'm finally catching a stream. You should cuddle tap with me. We will definitely do at the end of the stream." We will do that thing. Yes. Shout out to uh, Benjamin who gave us five dollars and said, "No, John, you cannot maximize science by putting loads of goo canisters on your craft. Per biome, uh, there's an infinite amount of science for experiment." Per biome, there's a biome. By area of atmosphere, but I'm going to a new bit of atmosphere, so that's fine. And for the first time, we're actually going to make it back. Uh, and now, okay. Now, detach and activate new thruster. And now, begin, continue yeah, the that turn. That's true, you still haven't added the fins. No, that's fine. That, it says grey morality. I think we'll chat. be okay. I think we'll be alright. Because now we're going out of the bit of the atmosphere that's got like air in it, so that means there'll be less resistance. Okay, okay. Um, King Harkon says. Uh, after re-entry, you should detach the heat shield before landing. I don't think we can. Well, I mean, that's a thing you should try to do. I uh, literally can't. It's above the decoupler. Okay. The final decoupler is above that point. But now, now as we basically just head out into oh, orbit. Okay. Yeah, I think I think. We're... Um, Wildcat says you can just place the decoupler and the next engine in the same stage, so you only have to press space once. Now, presumably, the heat shield should should hold and help out because I'm still seeing some rather I'm seeing some I'm, I'm seeing some very worrying red figures here. Sure. It, despite the fact there is a heat shield, so now we just basically turn this sort of away. We can now decouple that, but there is now uh, there's a heat shield right there. So there we are, heat shield. Oh, I can jettison it. Okay, I can. And I see what he means. I can individually choose jettison it now. Now we can observe the mystery goo. Which should be no. Uh, I need to reset that experiment because I want. To, I need to do the bit where it, it clumps into a into a, a sphere because that's the one we haven't seen yet. So activate that. There we are. It's clumping into a sphere. Appears to have become brittle. So that's plus ten science if I can recover. 
uh, which I think I can do now. So keep that experiment, and presumably now this one will be pointless, but screw it, we've got an extra one. Uh, just, yep, there we are. That's also worth 10 size, but it's the same thing, because it's finite per biome. Right, keep that experiment. Uh, conduct the barometer. Toggle display log pressure data. There we go, that's fine. Uh, the, the instrument reads zero. It's as if it was in a vacuum. There we are, we've learned important things here. And also, toggle log the temperature out here. And we've just also recorded the temperature data. Right, keep that experiment. Right, and toggle display. There we go. The display is, it's four, 340 Kelvins? Is Kelvin temperature? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, degrees Kelvin. That seems very high for space. I was assumed space would be cold. Well, I mean, aren't you burning up on re-entry? How many degrees Kelvin did you say? I don't know. Some. 340. We're not, we're right now we're in space. But how many... You just said an amount of degrees. What was it? Um, 340. 340 degrees Kelvin. That's 66 degrees Celsius. But we're in space! I guess it was recently on fire. That's, that's 152 Fahrenheit for the Americans on the chat. Right, so let's just I don't know other slow people. this down here. Because now we're presumably now coming up on the atmosphere. But this time, this time I've got a heat shield. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, the chat is going spare that you asked what Kelvins were. Okay, but look, look, we've oh got the god. okay. Turn turn into no turn into no turn into it. Turn oh, I've got oh, the heat oh, shield. Oh, look, look at the heat shield. The heat shield is helping. The heat shield Oh, I see why the heat shield has to be up here now. Right, okay. Um also prepare for the staging of the parachute whenever it's appropriate. Hold on, little heat shield! Hold you literally your one job is to cause me to not explode. But I think hopefully we're we're Claire, we've done it! We've done it! We've done space! Yay! We've done space! We're definitely we've... Got, not going to die now. Uh, definitely well, not going to die now. I think this thing is staged. This thing is staged. Okay, now, okay, cool. the other thing they told us was now we're back Point in the atmosphere. the heat shield towards the fire. I just did that. Jet, now we need to jettison the heat shield. Mm -hmm. Do we, we not need it anymore now? I hope not, because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it. Just, it. It's stuck. It's stuck to us. There we, oh, I think I've got it off. There it goes. Bye, heat shields. <laughs> it didn't want to go. Aww. Right, okay. Now uh, we're heading towards the Thomas ocean. Thomas says not so fast. What? Thomas says you're going too fast. I can't slow down. I've got no engines. I don't know if he's saying your spaceship is going too fast or you're going too fast declaring this a victory before we arrive back down. Well, we appear to have a parachute open and mm -hmm. we appear to be heading towards the sea. Like, yeah. th this appears to me to be a massive success. Have, this is, a, is this a parachute or is this a drug shoot? I don't know. The, oh, this is an actual parachute. Yeah, it's a parachute. Work. It's a parachute. It's a parachute. It's a parachute. We, never, we've, we haven't used those little side drop shoots. I wasn't sure what the point of them was. Hmm. Yeah, they're just parachutes, but on the side, which struck me as inefficient. So I just put them well, on they're, top. Well, they're extra parachutes, but uh, someone was saying in chat that you can't actually land anything with, like, just a drogue and nothing else. So um, what's the so point of them? They're extra parachutes. Oh, in case things crash. is heavier. In case it's yeah. a heavier thing. Presumably, yeah. Right. Okay, what... I mean, you can't go wrong with more parachutes. That's and true. Less falling to your death. That's true. Anyway, you, anyway. While, we're, while we're just drifting down, Claire, get us caught up. A shout out to Bag, who gave us $20. And oh, said, thank you very much. John, I'll be very sad if this does not become the definitive Steve run. Also, what's your favourite Steve moment? Hmm... There have been many great Steve there moments. There have been many great Steve moments. I, I'm not sure if I could necessarily pick a, a, just one favourite Steve moment. That would be very hard to do. Mm. Shout out to Hunter, who gave us $5 and said, Hi, John and Claire. I started watching after the first, but before the 10th episode of New Vegas YOLO. Oh, good times. Happy days. This is my first super chat. Hashtag Team John. Hashtag and Claire. Hashtag and Thomas. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Right. And the thing lands, we recover the vessel, and we get all the science. Despite the great deal of mockery that was thrown at us, that plan just actually worked. Yes, and I would like to state for the chat that uh, obviously Kelvin is temperature, but it's also not degrees because it's in an absolute scale or something. So shout out to <laughs> the dude who uh, gave us 20 Canadian dollars. 
<laughs> best dollars. Best and dollars. And said, uh, Kelvin starts at absolute zero, John. And that's why it sounds like it's a lot. It's because it starts at absolute zero. What happens if you go below absolute zero? But like, if you took something that adds zero, then you put it in the freezer. The freezer is warm and absolute zero, John. Mm. Cunning. Right, so, flight control, we don't need any of that nonsense. I mean, it's nice that there's a reaction wheel, but screw that. Uh, basic science. Uh, radiator panels, rechargeable battery packs. Uh, radiator panels, whatever those are. Shout out to Jabba J in chat, who's uh, naming his favourite Steve moment. Says, uh, for me, it's between Stevie as getting shot by arrows from a tower for walking out of formation. Oh. And Steve the self drowner. I think, yeah. That, I think, yeah, that oh. guy's. Oh. Sorry. That's a fight. Oh, no, it's not that. Is it not? No, it's not. Oh, well. That was just a thing Is there. It just a thing that's been annoying you all this time. Hopefully not. Um, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, the TV just. Uh, turned itself on and flickered off for a second, but I don't think that actually I don't think it affects the stream at all. Uh, uh, no, I don't think it does because I still have it up on my computer. In fact, I can. I know how I can force that to be fixed. Hang on. Uh, yes. In fact, actually, you know what? Let's just have a very brief pause here while I just quickly fix a small technical issue. We are going to very quickly have a pause and then we're going to buy some science and do some more rocketeering. More advanced rocketeering. We're going to go towards the advanced rocketeering because next up, now we need to get something into orbit and then get it back down to Earth afterwards. We've now officially got something into space. Next up, orbit. Brief break first, just five minutes, then we'll be right back. So we will see you in five minutes time. Right, we're back. Sorry, that was less than five minutes, but it was a very, very easy fix, all things considered. Right, let's go back over to... What? No? <laughs> he didn't actually fix it. That's... Why has that gone to... Hang on. Oh, hang on. I know what I've done. I've done... I've... I know what I've done. I know what I've done. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to now go over to... Okay. Hang, hang on, hang on. Why, why is that? Right, I've, I've made, made, made things. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Wait. I, th I know how to fix this. I just need to put it into back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh. It's 
listening video something oh god right things 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 why is that not like that uh hey uh well you're we... doing that yes yeah uh, we got uh, another message from uh, mega raptor who <laughs> gave us another 250 dollars stop it mega raptor thank you but stop it uh, he says, here's 250 because my friend's dog just died and she was a good doggo and just flippy flip flip, have Aww. some money and be happy so I can be happy and flip. Um, we're sorry That to is hear very that, sad. Uh, for you and for your friends. Aww. That is very sad indeed. We are very sad to hear that. There we go. Yeah. Right now, if I full screen this here. We also uh, uh, had like a that. message earlier from Christopher who gave us $5 and said my boyfriend's dog passed away recently he was an 11 year old german shepherd named faust can you name a rocket after him i feel faust. like a rocket named faust is like really appropriate anyway yes uh, sorry to hear we're always sorry to hear about you know bad things happening to good dogs yes very much so dogs, but uh yeah we will most definitely do that um, right now it's and, this now. Um, there we go. Now now I've got it. Now I've flipping got it. Good. Yes. Carry on, Claire. Yeah, sorry. Uh, other messages that are... <laughs> yeah, a few people mentioning things that they want to uh, call uh, ships when the time comes. So I'm keeping those on the side. Uh, Cory Hodgson gave us $5. Said, I wish I, it was more... But thanks for bringing light to the dark spots in my life. Thank you very, very much indeed for saying that. Oh yes, that's very shout kind. Out. And a shout out to Arolf, who gave us 50 Norwegian kroner and said, Godspeed, John. I think you will need that. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. Carl Kremp Kyle Crampton, even, I'm sorry, uh, who's been giving us a lot of really useful advice. And oh, excellent. Actually. Thank you to the people actually helping. Uh, has give, gave us uh, $15. And said, it's the first live stream I haven't had to work during since airport CEO. Have some money. Uh, thank you very, very much for that. Um, we've also got a, a weekly currency market update from David Wellman, who gave us 6.61 US dollars. Excellent. Uh, the Excellent. pound gains against the dollar for the third week in a row. Maybe you could get 10 tons on Amazon.uk. <laughs> nice. I mean, I'll definitely be double checking. Uh, okay, so we need to start a new spacecraft. So, what are the names that have been queuing up here, Claire? Faust. The name oh is yes, Faust. of course. The name is indeed. That. The name is indeed Faust. Hey, uh, Mega Raptor, you should tell us what you want a spaceship named at this point. Enter. Hello. Why am I not? Do I need to actually have like begun the spaceship before I'm allowed to name it or something? Yep. Yeah. By the way, we definitely. We yeah, have you have to actually. Uh, we begin. have a list. We are definitely going to have Dragon Age uh, and you know other a few other things. Uh, Mentioned, but uh, dogs come first. Dogs always come first. Dogs yeah, are high priority. So, okay. Now that we've just picked up some intermediate level rocketing, we've just picked up some new advanced stuff. Like, we've got a solid fuel booster here that's now got a flip ton of fuel in it. So, my view would be, basically, we use these to get out into space. Then we use the thrusters, like the liquid fuel engine, to actually, like, once we're in space, put us into a stable orbit. Because now the plan is orbit. we got to orbit here. Uh, what's the difference between these two? Thrust is... Thrust is a little bit higher for the Reliant. Okay. Um, we don't need to worry about cost. So broadly, we just use that. So, let's work through this in, in order here. So we've got ourselves... We've got a pot. We start off at the top, we, we, so we start off with the pod. The pod gets a parachute, because otherwise I'll forget about that later. So we shove, we shove the parachute on, and the parachute has max out uh, pressure on it. Okay. Next up, we heat shield. Yeah, we, put, we shove a heat shield on. Wait, what, what was the heat shield in the end? Was that the... Was the heat shield... Was it bowl? Was it bowl or umbrella? I think it was bowl. People were saying it was bowl. Yeah, bowl beside down. Heat shield gets shoved onto there. Decouple underneath that so that we actually. I mean, we can just manually eject that when the time is right. That's absolutely fine. So now that's that's the pod that eventually makes it back. Next, we need the the mechanisms by which we actually fly in like space so let's just get a couple of big ass fuel tanks right just shove a, a few of them down so this is how we actually fly once we're actually out in orbit and underneath that we need a 
yeah, we need a, um, a reliant liquid thing. So now we've got, this is what is actually going to fly in orbit. And then ultimately allow us to, as long as we save some fuel. Wait, can we... Can you turn the rocket off once it's once it's done? What do you mean, turn the rocket off, John? Like, okay, I, I need to not use all the fuel. I need to not use all the fuel because I need to use some fuel. I want to turn it on for a bit to, like, course correct to get us into mm. a stable orbit. Then I need to turn it off. But I can't, like, just hit, like, space because space will move on to the next staging. The next staging will be decouple. So I need to, how, how do you turn it? Oh, I can just thrust down. I can just thrust down. Yeah, it's fine. Using shift and control or Z and X, I can just thrust off. I can keep it. So I just basically, yeah, take my foot off the accelerator. Okay, it's fine. Let's just move this up a bit higher. Now, now I think we've got, do we have those side connectors that people were mentioning? Here we are, radial decouplers. Oh yeah, people were definitely mentioning. Yeah. So those. now what we want is we want four of these bastards on the very bottom of this thing, right? And then what we need is we need an absolute flipping ton of these massive okay, grey... So People are saying you can turn off the liquid fuel, but not the solid fuel. So be careful which one you use. Yeah, so that's the where the... Yeah, okay, so my off. plan's going to work. Because this is basically... My plan is that the solid fuel is going to get us into space. Then the liquid fuel, we can then turn on and off by virtue of... Yeah, using the, the thrust or not to control our flight through orbit. Okay, so I just need to, I just need to like... Okay. Amanda says John should attach solid fuel rockets to the side if he can, so yeah, I'm the using... rocket isn't as unstable. Yeah, that's what we're doing. There we go! Okay, this, this is fine. This, it looks a little unconventional, but it's fine. And I just picked up the stability stuff, because I figure, like, you can't just have, like, these being flat. You're going to need to have, like, a, a nose cone. So, there we are. Now they've all got nose cones. So, basically, this... Rockets don't really look like this very often, do they? They, they don't. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, hang on. How do I... How do I oh, there we are. I, need, I want them to be as low down as possible. Uh, in the chat right now, Eric, he's doing better than I expected. Pedro, it's so suspicious. Shut up, guys. I agree with you. It's quite suspicious. So, what we've got is we've got our main little thing in the middle. This is what's going to fly in orbit. Then these ones are going to be the ones that get you into orbit as part mm. of a big four. Now, presumably they've got... Oh, the problem is now they're all going to fire at the same time. So, does that mean they're... Actually, I guess they've got tons of fuel. So, it's fine. Okay. And then what we do is we just attach a whole bunch of instruments to, to, the, to the capsule. Right? And then that's fine. Because we're going to be in orbit. So... Yeah, we'll just kind of get, like, uh, barometers um, times... Yeah? Yeah, people are saying, remember the fins? Remember the... Oh, yeah, fins. Need to put fins on the side. Fins, and Josh fins, Mack fins, says, yeah. uh, can you pretty please mention crew reports to John? They are important. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what that what that does or means. Um, I'm pretty sure it just, like, tells you... I thought it was the same thing that the report that you check before going to see, like, if you've messed up something like the engineering report that we've been looking at with the orange cog but maybe it's something different chat can oh yeah i keep forgetting to look at those anyway we've got yeah. some we've got fins here and then we've got more fins on this thing and all of the fins are at the bottom four fins is too few people are saying we well, can't have more can how, 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 turn how? them on in pairs apparently i don't yeah, know yeah but the, the but these things are in the way now i think four is gonna have to do because these things are li like literally like okay. the the big things are in the way so it it's it, plus there's eight when you factor it all in, so it's going to be fine. Sure. Uh, right, let's get this. Oh, okay. So um, apparently you're right now blocking the door, and you need to not block the door so you can do EVAs when you're in space and get some more science that way. Don't I need to like research technology for that or something? I haven't researched like space like know. space okay, tech or something. Okay, gives you science. Yeah. Apparently that rocket will fail so much. That's not helpful, Deuson. Tell us how to fix it. Yeah, you, you say this. I think it will be fine. Um, yeah, you can EVA with your Kerbal and get a crew report to get some science. Thank you, Croco King. Uh, and then we've got... I'm just going to attach these to the parachute. Uh, if you click on the crew pod, they give you uh, they give you the crew reports and that's extra science. Ah, crew report. Okay, right. Mm. Okay, so we've also... Okay, we're taking some goo with us. We're going to take some thermometers out with us. And we're going to take some the pressure things. The aren't attached to the decouplers at the moment, apparently. Are they not? Well, that's what Keck says in the chat. They may be wrong, but, you hang know, on, Bockham's on. Razor, they're probably right and you're wrong. How do I how do I check whether they are or not? 
I mean, that looks, that looks right, right? Yeah, that looks like that's attached. Mm. I think that's attached. Alice, yeah, that, um, that's attached. Shout out to Alice, who just gave us 50 sweet, uh, Norwegian kroner, even, and said you can use the icon in the top left, that's a circle with three sticks coming out of it, to move the solar boosters further down. Hang I on, don't know why. Hang on, hang on. Apparently you're meant to. Are we not... Are you guys not getting sound? Aside from me? Look, there's no... It's just that that's not picking up sound. Uh, Check whether you're picking up sound here. Hang on, I'm gonna... Oh, John. Do yes. you your headphones? What? I think I'm hearing sound that I'm not meant to. I think it's just not plugged in properly somewhere. What do you mean? Just think about it. Because I'm saying I thought I could just hear game music this moment. That's true. Where's where's that coming from? I don't know. Hang on, hang it's on. It's definitely not. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's no sound. They're saying no music. We have sound, but no music. Yeah. Playback devices. Why is that? Okay, why have you? Gone... I'm so sorry. I'm not used to thinking about that because I never get the sound from the stream, so I didn't notice. Um, okay, now not not to that. John and Claire, that's it. I thought it was silent. Right, that... We really can't hear Claire. We know we're working on it. Uh, um, now, where do I need just... to push that to get that to be... Okay, I think I just need There's to... There's no in-game music at the moment. There we go. Yeah, uh, okay. It was just when I redid the wiring, it all to the computer thought was trying to be clever. And, and rejiggered it incorrectly. No, no, you can you can literally see it. You can literally see it on the OBS there. Okay, that's fine. Well, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We got it. We got it. Okay. We got it. We got it. Sorry, everyone. Uh, yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, we had a comment about um, how to move the solid boosters further down. Although we weren't really sure why we needed to do it. Uh, I mean, yeah. it would look less stupid. I agree. True. It would look yeah. less stupid. So hang on. Let's just check my staging here. So these all these four all fire. Okay, then we decouple them, then that thing activates, and we actually use that to position ourselves into an orbit. Then, eventually, once we're ready to go, and we just use, remember, we do not, okay, when I'm in orbit, do not let me hit spacebar. I must not hit spacebar, otherwise I will deactivate the one thing that's going to get us back to Earth. Because once we're in orbit, the only thing that can get me back to Earth is by putting myself on that trajectory using um. the last of this fuel. Game sound is maybe a little bit high now, they're saying in chat, and um, and it's going to be louder when the rockets are happening. Okay, so there's can the... can lower that a little bit. I, I will do that if I can. I can't do it right now. Uh, but I'll do it as soon as, as soon as we're on the launch pad, I think I can. Okay. Um, right, so, I think we should probably just give this thing a test. Okay, the best we, the... we, I've got one more, like, actually helpful message. Yes, okay, go. Uh, shout out to Popteer, who gave us £10, said... Um, you should stage the SRBs at the same time as the previous decouplers to speed up staging with uh, one press of the space. Ah, that's true. Also, liquid engines are best. Experience KSP, play KSP player since... Zero. Yeah, that's very clever because then I don't need to double hit space by the moment I decouple, the next one will activate. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, right. To the launch, in that case, that's a useful bit of advice. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll also, before we actually uh, launch, I should be able to go over to settings and just slightly lower the master audio a tiny bit. Oh, more, there we go, accept and etc. Right, okay, resume the flight. So, throttle up to maximum. We're just going to see. Have you done the sound thing yet? Yeah, I just did that. Okay. Um, so, this. We're just going to see how far this thing goes. Because I feel like it's not suddenly. I feel like those are on wonky. Okay, it's fine. It probably doesn't need to be on straight. Okay, let's just let's just see what happens. This is this is an experiment. Valentina Kerman is oh we're going up very fast. Uh, that's good. And we've got actually it looks like we're burning. It feels like we're burning fuel fuel quite quickly. There. I mean it's nice that we are we're all kind of going up and whatever. That's all great. But it just feels like yeah that fuel's gonna burn off long before we actually get in towards like space i feel like we possibly should like have like two of them on one stage and two of them on the other but they seem to be all looped together because they were all done as a group but actually maybe we'll just make it out into space and assume they are like you know specifically designed to get you into space so next up we probably want to start like turning to 
have a bit of a, a bit of a thing here. Actually, it's probably safer just to be straight up. Right. Okay. So we're into space and we're still going up, and presumably we're going to be okay, and we'll get to space in a minute. So as soon as we deactivate this, and as soon as we hit space, which I'm assuming is going to be like now-ish, we still seem to be going up. We in space? The space? Does this feel like space to you? As soon as the space music starts, I feel like we'll. I feel like we're in about space, right? Okay, and go. Right. So next up, I'm going to throttle right down with this thing. I'm going to throttle. No, throttle, throttle, thr throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. I just want to be using very, very little fuel here. Now, check my current like trajectory. I now need to turn. Can I actually? Hang on. Just SAS me. SAS me here. How do I change my trajectory to what am I aiming for? Am I aiming for... Oh, hang on. Ooh, okay. Okay, activate, uh, activate RCS. Activate... Okay, we don't seem to be having much control at this exact moment in time. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Am I even in control right now? Why am I not in control? This feels like this is not... I feel like I'm not in control right now at all. Okay, I'm definitely in control because I've got my spinny. I've got my spinny here. What am I aiming for? I'm aiming for the, the 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 blue, and in which case, oh oh, it's because I don't have much thrust. I probably need a bit more thrust than what I've got actually, because otherwise right now I've not got much control. Okay, we've got a message in chat from Magres Polar Bear who says, um, "SRBs are powerful but heavy. Liquid is less powerful, but it is more efficient. It's fine to have SRBs in stage one, but it's less good in lesser." later stages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're just good at, they're just good at punching you out of the atmosphere. Now, yeah. how how do we stabilize the orbit here? We need to <laughs> SAS here. SAS me. Right, okay. There uh, we go. Spins just don't work outside of the atmosphere. But what Ah, here we go. Here we go. All right. So now, now we're going in this direction and we've got the SAS on. Right. Now we just need to I think I just stick closer. I think this is telling me how to get into an orbit. This, this, this nice blue thing. Now, how's my, how's my solid? Yeah, how's my? I feel like this is working. How's my fuel doing? My fuel is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. No. Oh. That was that was the wrong button to push. Okay. So okay, you should try an orbit by pointing due east along the ninety degree mark. That is the most efficient. The problem Apparently. is I can I still seem to have some level of control somehow I'm not sure given I've got no like thrust now but if I just mm. is this taking me into an orbit? Shout out Seb who hmm. gave us five quid and said John should be gentler with controls. Slight turn to the right then just let SAS keep steady through the gravity turn. Space is sideways fast, not up. Hmm. Okay, if I was to just, yeah, go straight to, like they were saying, like, east oh my is... Oh god, they're using such big words, like, it, seriously, <laughs> they all know what they're talking about, it's kind of intimidating. Okay, so the problem, the problem we've got here right now is if I have any chance of... Can someone just confirm what the purple blobs versus the light blue blob is? Like, what, what those indicate on, on the, the ball of navigation? Now, Cause... while we wait for that, uh -huh. uh, we have a message from PhD Pepperman, who gave us uh, who gave us five dollars. Even uh, said John's like the fifteen-year-old uh, driving beat-up tuna cars. Wings fix everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, they don't. Shout out to William, who gave us two dollars. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, if you want to send a message, you can at me in the chat, even though there wasn't one with your donation. Um, and also a shout out to uh, Lyle, who said, uh, who gave us five pounds, said you should do an EVA while you're still in space. Um, just do not let go. <laughs> uh, uh, can I even do that? Back in. Yeah, you can. A few people have mentioned EVA. Uh, so one, I need to, I need to yeah, do the crew report. Yeah. So that's five science right there. So keep that experiment. Uh, I may as well, like, while I'm doing stuff, I don't know if I can log temperature. No, that doesn't get me any science, because I've already done that bit. So I've already done that. Actually, I'll try and do these when I'm going back through the atmosphere, because I don't think I've actually done pressure or temperature during atmospheric re-entry. Yeah, Zidius gave us 15 Norwegian krona and said you right-click command pod and select crew report and do an EVA to take EVA report and soil samples. Transfer science. crew, control, mm. talk, lights, crew report. I don't see the EVA. Is that transfer crew? 
Um, it should be EVA, I think. I'm not seeing EVA so here. You do that to take uh, EVA reports and soy samples for science in space at launch pad and on the airstrip. I'm not seeing that um, here. I'm I'm not actually seeing that here. So possibly I, I, I need to have the right tech for it. Because I'm not seeing EVA in the command pod options. Okay, we've got answers for your earlier question. Stardust says, Simplified, purple is left and right on your trajectory. Blue is up and down and yellow is your direction of movement and the opposite direction of movement. Kyle says, The icon on the nav... The icons on the nav ball. The most important ones are green. The ones with the dot tell you where forward is. The one with the X is backward, i.e. prograde and retrograde. Pro... Yeah, makes sense. Prograde and retrograde. Okay, right, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you need to mouse over the portrait for EVA. Mouse over the portrait. Ah! Yeah. I guess... Thanks, guys! Right. Uh, <laughs> and ladies, thanks, everyone. Take some data and crew report out here. Report. Space let go. I probably don't want to let go, do I? No, don't let go. I probably... That was one thing that we were told. <laughs> I can't... Uh, crew report's not doing anything, though. Uh... Is it because I've already done a crew report? Is that why? Maybe. Possibly. Right. Well, hopefully that's worth a bit of extra science right here anyway. Oh, now okay. Uh, Mason says to EVA you need to upgrade the astronaut, comp the astronaut complex. Well, we just, we just did some form of EVA, but maybe it was just like hanging on to the edge of the pod rather than anything else. Replying to the blob question, says Neil Marshall, who gave us five pounds. Mm -hmm. They also appear to the left of the ball. Uh, mouse over them to see what they are. Click them to tell SAS to steer towards them. Ah, okay. Yeah. But um, right now I'm just going to focus on keeping my, my heat shield facing down. Because when we yeah when we re-enter, I'm gonna take like temperature and atmosphere during re-entry. Because presumably that's worth some science. Because right now I've never I've only taken temperature and pressure out in space. So if I actually do that while I'm re-entering and in a different bit of atmosphere, presumably that's gonna be worth a bit of extra science there. So I'm just gonna get ready for that because that's gonna be how we make some science during this stage. And then I may as well just prep the parachute now because there's no reason not to, given it'll automatically trigger, and I might just forget later. So as soon as we start entering the bit where it all starts going, yeah, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzz. Right now, log the temperature. There we go. Keep that experiment, and now log the pressure. Uh, yep, yeah, log that pressure there. Keep that experiment. That's a bit of stuff there. And now I just wait until we're now into a lower bit of thing. Hopefully the heat shield will do the job and we won't explode. As soon as we're down into a lower bit. There we are. Now we're into a lower bit. So now log the temperature there. Keep that. And then log the barometer here. Yep, log the pressure data there. Keep that. Round to the next one. And as soon as we get down into the lovely low bit there, the heat shield did its job. Just wait till we get into lower atmosphere or this bit right here. And then log the... Uh, yeah, log that. That's the crew hatch. That's not necessarily that helpful. Uh, right, log the barometer thing right here. Log that pressure data. That's another 8.4 science. And then this one, log that data. That's 5.6 science. So, just by virtue of that, I think we've just made quite a bit of useful data, quite frankly. I think we've actually picked up quite a bit of useful data, even though we didn't get much out of space. And our plan to go to orbit didn't work right. I feel okay, it's because so I didn't have enough fuel. Magres Polar Bear says you should point a capsule at the yellow cross marker whilst you're re-entering. That way you'll re-enter bum first, which apparently is a good thing. Okay, yellow yellow during re-entry means yeah. arse first, because that's where the, the heat shield is. Oh, I, I'm supposed to jettison that, by the way. Jettison that, off it goes. Bye, heat shield. You also, help. remember that you can do science on landing, so uh, whether you land like on the ocean or actually in... Like, wherever you land, you can do various different bits of science as on landing. So. I think I've already done as much science as I can do, unfortunately. Because I think I've, I've used up all my different bits. Because, like, one of them has... Because you, you have to either reset them or keep it. And what I've kept is, like, upper atmosphere, mid-atmosphere, and low-atmosphere data around the board. So I think I've got loads of science from this one regardless. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're just coming down quietly. Now, Clay, you've got another moment here. Yeah, uh, we've got a couple of people uh, asking about other games. We got a message from Ram, who gave us two pounds, said, uh, will you play Maze? It's a horror game about corn. I didn't quite get that. I mean, it felt like it was like a dark comedy. Was it? Was It, it felt like it was a dark comedy. I, I didn't quite get it. Um, I, I saw it when it came out. It, 
it didn't really appeal massively. Uh, now it's kind of been out for a while, so I, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, shout out to John also gave us £10 and said, I'd love to see you guys add Jagged Alliance 2 to the list. It's a fantastic old game. I've heard good things about Jagged Alliance, so that one may well show up at some mm, point or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so loads of science come out of atmospheric pressure while flying and upper atmosphere and in space and all that good stuff. So we've just beat up an absolute flipping ton of science, which is marvellous. Uh, and now, with that science, I assume we can... I think we can get straight into... Yeah, we can just afford advanced rocketry. Now, what does that give me? Oh, Jesus. Advanced rocketry. Are you sure we're ready for I think we're ready rocketry? for that. Basically, it just gives me better quality liquid fuel engines. Uh, a different type of liquid fuel engine. So that one just seems... That one just seems, like, way more powerful. So definitely, yeah, the, the liquid fuel engine there. And then just a massive grey... I assume that's a solid state engine, right? Yeah. Fine. This is the sort of thing that we're going to need if we're going to want... Ooh, that's heavy rocketry. Ooh, heavy rocketry. Right. This is the sort of stuff that we're going to be needing to get into space proper. Because the problem is we just don't have enough flipping fuel or power there. We weren't quite able... We were able to get into space. And we, were, we were getting close. But I feel like we needed... I needed a big pile more liquid fuel. Because uh, in order to actually stabilize into orbit. So now we've got advanced rocketry. It's time for a new ship. So... Claire, we need to start again here. What's the what's the new one? What's what's okay, what's so been we lined have up here? Names. All right, let me find the super chat. We have another uh, thing to name. We have another uh, puppy name. Mm -hmm. um, excellent. Uh, well, not excellent, probably. Unless it, unless it's like I've just got a new puppy and I want to celebrate. Shout out to Dragmeister who gave us ten euros and said to counteract the unhappy dog news. Uh huh. Uh, my puppy Luna Yay! is now eight months old and full of energy. Wait, hang on. We should save Luna for when we do our first moonshot. The, this is literally uh, what uh, yeah. they're saying. Yeah. Uh, we should save Luna for the moonshot. Now she got bored and went to sleep. Can you name a ship that is reaching for the moon after her? So that's the first well. moonshot will be called Luna after that puppy. That is acceptable. Right, so uh, the next thing we had on the list for a little while was a uh, Dragon Age orbits. Dragon Age Orbit. Yep, fine. So there you go, Toe of Pi. Dra good old Dragon Age. Or Orbits or Orbit? Well, presumably in the plural because Origins is also in the plural. Dragon Age Orbits, it is. Okay, yep. so. Uh, shout out to you, Sir Roderick Quincy from Thunderbottom, the magnificent hiking of Australia, who uh, sent in a number of messages, but uh, for this one gave us two Australian dollars. And said second flight in, and he's already all shut up. It's fine. To be fair, he said that pretty much every flight uh, so far. I think we've done. I think we've done better than people might have been expecting. A selection of comments from people at uh, random times where uh, we couldn't really read super chats out because exciting things were happening. Mm -hmm. Benjamin gave us two dollars and said, uh, "No, we expected that to happen. Probably at some point when something went up in flames." Uh, and the bubble uh, gave us two dollars and said, "John, you monster!" What did I do? I don't know, but I often <laughs> end up having to read some of these slightly out of context because I can't always read them the minute that they come in, and oftentimes it ends up being quite funny that it's just like How you does know, this one work? randomly ten minutes later or half an hour later, or whatever. Does this one just plug onto the side? Is that just what that one does? Mm. Like, one just plugs onto the side. In which case, I feel like we can probably do without that. Reliance, Swivel, Terrier. Hang on, that is Thrust. Hang on, yeah, I need this one to be here. And actually, I think as I, I saw earlier, yeah, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna limit the thrust a bit because this one, its point isn't to get me into space. The other stuff gets me into space. This one, its purpose is to. I don't know what the shroud is, by the way. Um, this one, its purpose is to just directional me. So I'm gonna limit its thrust a bit to make it weaker because I want it to be weaker. So now we've got an absolute ton of flipping fuel here. All right. Next, we just need uh, the the connectors. Uh, yeah. So four X connectors for another for yeah those ones so right down at the bottom we now need another four of those but i think we just picked up some new really powerful super powerful ones the flea was that the new one max thrust solid fuel 140 oh no it's this one the hammer the new hammers i'm pretty sure they're the new ones the thumpers were no they were 820 oh that's where we just picked up a new one but all right fine it looks like the thumper still has the most fuel and the most thrust of anything we've got going on. I could have sworn we just picked up something better, but maybe that was a liquid fuel 
Why would you ever use that? I swear the hammer was just the new one. So why is it? Why does it look like it's worse? It looks like it's got less thrust and way less fuel. That's weird. Uh, right. So I just need. Well, it's maybe less heavy. Maybe that's the point. That strikes me as sensible. Yes. Yeah, so now we just need this to be as low as possible. There okay. We go. Um, Magress Polar Bear says, uh, please tell John that reaching orbit is mostly about going sideways, not up. He needs to get above seventy kilometers, then go sideways until the orbit is round. Well, this time we've got way more fuel and way more power. In fact, actually, yeah, we, we need more power. So what if I actually say, get rid of all of that, get get rid of this. No, 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 uh, no, no. Alex no. L says, use the other engine. It's much easier to control. But surely I need, surely I just need the power because I need to get it up higher. This, this, the, when he says that the other one, do you mean the new hammer one? Well... <laughs> The point is that you only need to go vertically for so long, like you can start going sideways and you will be pulled into orbit. Okay. So you have been trying to go vertically. That's true, yeah. All along, and that's not the tack you're supposed to use. Now, when I was telling you earlier that someone sent in a super chat that was like actually technical, right? Yeah. Uh, Grievous Zero gave us two pounds and said at 10 kilometers, you should turn to 45 degree angle. And then at 30 kilometers, you should lower thrust or, I mean, you should so have to, the to thir as 30, 30 kilometers straight up. No, no, no. At 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers. You should turn to a 45 degree angle. Uh-huh. At 30 kilometers, you should have the, tr the thrust be at 50%. Okay. And at 100 kilometers, you should have 90 deg, 90 dg. 90 degrees? Degrees. That's degrees. That would logically be degrees, yes. Sorry, I was just trying to read this and be like, what does this mean? Sorry. So yeah, so at 10 kilometers, you go 45, and then 50% thrusters at 30 kilometers, and then at 100 kilometers, you... Uh, okay, I'm I'm putting you in I'm putting you in charge I'm putting you in charge of this I'm putting you in charge of this process right here. Oh Jesus! Uh, right, so the the activating that goes in the same stage as those decoupling. So I've got eight of these bastards, which are the new ones, to compensate for the fact they seem to have less fuel in them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's I'm just gonna just go up here. Hang on, I need to I think I need to get this just a little bit more on the. I just need to get them straight. That seems about straight. Yeah, that's better. That's That seems straighter. Okay. So, we got tons of that. We got tons of this. I think that's everything we need. Yeah, that's probably everything. Aside from the science, we need to... Presumably, like, the orbit science is the same as the other science, though. Like, I don't see how, like, being in orbit is different from being in space. It's still space, right? Yeah? Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. Right. Double thermometer. Double glue thing, double barom and double barometer, just so we got some of them plugged onto the top of the thing, and they're always in pairs, so the ship is like balanced and whatever. Okay, that's that strikes me as as what we need. Oh, and we've got a commun ah a communitron, right? That's useful, so we can transmit the data even if we can't get back to Earth. So that strikes me as useful. Um, and turn type direct. Do I have... Ah, but do I have any actual, like... Without any batteries, do I actually have the ability to do said thing? I don't know. Uh, right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna plug a couple of them on anyway, and we'll see if we're able to make that work. We'll see if we can make that work. I'm just gonna plug that on there. Those are probably gonna fall off. I feel like those aren't gonna stick around, but we'll, we'll see. Right, what else is new that we might theoretically need uh engines aerodynamics ground oh yeah landing struts we don't need them uh electrical science transmission it's good that we've got some communication now yeah i think we should probably just give that a go unless anyone's immediately leapt in with no that this is going to go wrong well they have but you know it, they actually have a, a sensible suggestion to counteract said thing is everyone more or less okay with this uh they are not Kyle says you don't have enough electricity. Well, I don't have anywhere to get make electricity. I don't have any. There's literally nothing in the electrical. I think I need to unlock the, the the like the, the power whatever thing first. Bob Bob Linkton says, John, how do I put this delicate, delicately? This will explode. Okay, well I'm John taking that as a challenge. With diff oh my god. Okay. I'm taking that as a challenge. There we are. Right. So maximum up the thrust. This time we've got the power. Right. So hang on. The, the, the things we're looking for are 10,000, 10,000 metres, then we start turning to 45 degrees, right? 
Yeah? Uh, yes. Yes, go! There we go. Right, so. Plenty of. I haven't saved, but, uh, I Plenty have of solid fuel. Activate the RCS and the SAS, and then start heading towards 45 degrees. We're spinning. We're. Should we be spinning? Probably not. We don't look like you're spinning in that picture. Look, look, look at the look at the, the nav ball. It's rotating. Yeah. Also, I feel like that did not get us anywhere even remotely close to space. Space and orbit are different, apparently. Like that that did that was rubbish next to what I just had a minute ago. That was dreadful. Right, okay. Um well as soon as we stop going up, we have to just start okay, start Okay, now just get this and now start powering that down a bit. Uh power that down a bit, just like half throttle it. Uh, right, so we need to we need to go to forty-five degree-ish. Okay, forty-five degree. Are you at ten kilometers now? I'm way over ten kilometers. Are you at thirty kilometers? Uh, yeah, about thirty-seven. You should uh, have the thrust at fifty percent. It would, I, I, by sheer coincidence, that's about right. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'm already. I've got thrust down. We have got plenty of liquid fuel here for the time being. Now the problem is. Hang on, let's just see what that means in terms of that. And I'm going at 45 degree angle, uh, half thrust. We've got plenty of liquid fuel for now. I'm going to go into the map right now. What's that looking like for the... Right, that is not looking like that's going to do the job in terms of an orbit. At all. Um, so what happens if I just... Okay, if I just like go to here. Okay. What, okay, we need okay, chat, we need suggestions now for how we convert this into an orbit. Cause right now I feel like we're so, actually we are slowly slowly the orbit That's what they've been saying. What they've been saying is that if you go sideways you'll be pulled into an orbit at some point. Yeah, which I think is broadly what we're doing. So if we just Okay, Kyle says the rocket is going too fast in the thick atmosphere. You wanna stay under two hundred and fifty meter per second until 10 kilometers up then you can thrust all the way up you can limit the booster thrust whilst the building uh, limit but the also ah CPU, i see CPU yes purple heart says you're not accelerating fast enough uh Alex okay L i'm gonna i'm gonna slightly increase thrust in that case to uh -huh. about 60 percent and then check how that's doing on the okay we are slowly i can see that this is shifting now if this presumably because as matt and dan once told me in the podcasts yeah. Orbit is basically a case of falling towards the Earth but consistently missing because you've got enough momentum or yeah. thrust or whatever to miss. And it, it looks sense. like right now I'm increasingly moving towards missing the Earth. The only question is, am I going to run out of fuel before this this line starts get makes it past the Earth? Because that's, that's a question. Because right now I'm down to like half fuel, so I'm going to... I feel like I should probably throttle down a tiny bit because I'm concerned about fuel consumption. And once again, the problem is we don't quite have enough flipping fuel. But we're, we're getting there. We're flipping getting there. Is there anything else anyone's suggesting that I could do to adjust trajectory in order to... More thrust, faster. More thrust? Yes. But then, then we'll just burn through our fuel faster. Okay, Alex L gave us $2, said more throttle, you're going too slow. Okay, I'm throttling up Full to 75... Idiot. Full thrust? Hey, Anna, Okay, full to, full thrust. You don't have to be nasty about it. Full thrust, fine, full thrust, but right. we're burning fuel that liquid fuel quickly. And if I use all degrees. this liquid fuel, I can't. We are we're about ninety degrees. Yeah. Maybe not quite, but almost. There Speeding we are. Speeding up again, losing altitude. We are. We are. You're not in space. Full thrust. Uh, we are at full. Th okay, we're at full. Th okay, at this point, we're literally re-entering the atmosphere. Okay, I need to go up to avoid the fact that I'm literally re-entering the atmosphere. So everyone, this. You need to get above seventy k because otherwise the air drags you down. Ah, I can see how that. I think this is about to go wrong. By the way, I feel like. So Forty-five degree angle at ten kilometers needs to be along the exact, the exact opposite axis to try and kind of hold it going the wrong way around the world. Ah. Oh, we exploded. Hey, shout out to the person that told us we would explode. Yeah, shout you out to that. Right. Shout out to that person. Okay, so we the important thing is, science-wise, we've learned a lot of stuff here. We've learned a lot of useful. Listen to the chat. We've learned a lot of useful things here. Uh, okay. 
Let's 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 just revert the uh, let's just head to the space center here. Warning you're in flight. Game cannot be saved. We'll set you back to the last safe state. It was five minutes two seconds ago. That's fine. Five minutes two seconds ago would have been just before we set off or something. Right. Okay. So back to the space station. So now we know what what the situation is with this ship, which is all of these vessels. We need to th limit the thrust because we're thrusting too fast. So. Okay, and then, it does that, yeah, okay, that automatically is applied to all of them. So, one, that should get us a lot higher. We now know what we need to do. These now need to get up to... Oh, okay, okay, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, Kyle says, if you are out of the atmosphere, you want to change velocity as fast as possible. Burning fuel slower increases losses due to gravity. Uh, also, make your turn towards the 90 degree mark. Okay. Make your turn towards 93. Okay, fine. You always need to launch towards the east, says Vincent. Thank you. Launch east. Okay. So the other way from where I was going, basically. Fine. Yeah, basically you were trying to go like against the orbit. Okay, so we've we've half the thrust limit on these things, which means we should get a lot higher off them. Okay, well, let's just relaunch that. Clear, yeah, clear launch pad and begin again. All right. Well, whilst we do that, shout out to Ben Skirm who gave us ten pounds, to Tinskin who gave us a dollar, and Luca uh, who gave us one euro. Guys, thank you very, very much. If you, thank uh, you have much a message, indeed. you can always reply me in the chat. I'm trying to keep up. There's a lot going on today. Uh, shout out also to Hiram Verusis. Here, Verusis. I'm gonna go with. Uh -huh. gave us two uh, euros and said this is more entertaining than anything on Netflix. Thank you very much. That's very that's very generous. It's, it's very kind of you to say. Uh, shout out to Cornell who gave us five Canadian dollars. The best dollars. And said first live stream I was able to uh, make it to, so worth it. <laughs> Tough Talk gave us two Australian dollars and wanted to know if you're over overcompensating for something, John. Uh, presumably. You see, I think this is... Okay, I think we need to take this thing back to drawing board. Because here's the thing. We've only got up to 16k, and we're already out of our solid fuel. Now, we established previously we needed to be... Someone said 70k, didn't they? So we're not getting even close to the, the height we need. That's the problem. And we're going to burn all our fuel long before we get even remotely close to 70k. So we need to take this thing back to drawing board because we need to basically to have a ridiculously large amount more thrust. So I think we need to go back over to those massive things that had way more thrust going on. Because this thing is... Also, why is it falling over? I don't know why this thing's falling over. Um, that, that feels weird. Possibly because the SAS isn't on and that, that's bad. Because um, we're, like, we're at 40 right now, so we're still nowhere near where we need to be. We're nowhere near where we need to be here. Uh, that's 180 degrees. Is 180 east or is 90? Wait, no, 180 would be south. Um, now I just need to, to turn to the, turn to the, turn to the, there we go. I just need to find... <laughs> Bob Boblington in chat says, John, that is what we have been saying since the beginning. Yeah. What? Uh, also, I want to... Uh... No, 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 no. I wanted to put the massive ones on and people very specifically said, oh no, go use the new ham ones. The new ham ones have been rubbish. Okay. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Anne and iMouse for uh, the comment in the chat. The lesson is that by the time the chat has typed advice, it is too late. John makes mistake at too great a speed for the chat to keep up. That is, that is kind of true. That like, is very true. We have a true. slight delay, that and it does true. mean that oftentimes the chat is like, we have been saying this for ten minutes. <laughs> Why are you only now noticing it? Yeah, these. I'm going for these yeah. cocking thumpers. These are the ones right here. These thumpers. Okay. They're the ones. They're the ludicrously powerful ones right there. Uh, Seb gave us five pounds and said, "Start turning very slightly just after launch, and you can then use the markers to the left of the nav ball to hold the prograde. Gravity will do the work." Gravity will do the work. Okay. You would like that. I feel like this already is going to be way cocking better just because we've got way more flipping fuel and whatever at this point. That's all absolutely fine. So that is that. Then that is... That is... That disables that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That staging still makes sense. This is just going to be better because this is just going to be more thrust and more fuel. This is going to get us to the altitude we flipping need. And once again, let's just limit the thrust just to... This time more like, yeah, 60, 67%. Right, same basic principle, clear launch pad, begin again. This is going to be okay. fine. Jonathan gave us uh, 200 Norwegian krona and said, all caps, John, stop putting more power on it. Smaller and more stages. Keep it simple. 
simple stages. But but we need to hit seventy k. This is what but everyone's I think we're been not saying. Seventy k because we're not trying to go at it the right way. That lets gravity do the work. What they're saying is, if you do, if if you if you try it, if you make it a bit more complicated, you can be more efficient. Mm -hmm. Like you can just add power, basically like trying to tank it. Yeah. By going like power. Yeah. But that's it's the not plan. Going to be very subtle. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why anybody came on your stream and expected, <laughs> expected massive amounts of subtlety. No, I'm not sure why anyone but expected I'm just that. Saying. Okay, so now this point we've got up to. Yeah, we're already up to. We haven't even burnt the solid fuel yet, and we're already beyond the bit where you're on fire, which I assume is the atmosphere. And you into start your turn, John. You're already about ten k. You should start your turn. S to start, remind me, which way is the turn? The turn was supposed to towards the east, at forty five degree angle, I think. Okay. Uh, you you did hit seventy k. You just turned the wrong way, and then that took you back down again. Okay, I need to I need to stop spinning. I need to stop. The spin is real. People are saying, yeah. How do we stop spinning? Turn on SAS, please. Turn on SAS. Yep, yeah, fine. And then RCS is already on, which is the rocket control system, right? Okay. Now we've actually got. Now I need to get to that. Turn, turn, turn the thing. I I I'm trying to. I'm I'm literally hitting the the oh. controls. We're not getting much. <laughs> Right, okay. Now I've probably got some level of actual control because I'm actually using okay, a thruster. Okay, now you're at 70. Yeah, so now we're at 70. So you should turn so that you're like at 90 degree in orbiting. Yeah, agreed, agreed. And also east, also eastwards. Uh, which yeah. angle is east? Would, would that east... Would, which way would that be? That's um, southeast. I think, can't, can't you check that with like the little... The ball is giving me degree numbers. It's giving me degree numbers right now. I also I'm going to I'm going to slightly I'm going to just gently thrust down a tiny bit just to avoid the fuel problems. Right, let's just go out here. This is right. Okay, <laughs> I'm going. I think I'm going south right now. I want to go east. Okay, if I'm going east, then I need to. RDS RCS doesn't do anything until you unlock the RCS thrusters. It says very much. Oh, fine. So that doesn't even matter. All right, fine. Okay, just not. East is ninety. East is 90. Yeah. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong cocking way. 180. <laughs> I think it's this. You're going, you're going to, 90. You're going the opposite way. No, I'm not going the opposite way. Activate oh. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. We've still got some of our fuel. Right. We are now going at 90 degrees and we are at, at like the horizon thing that people say. So 90 degrees horizon -y. Okay. We're also at 160 kilometers up. That feels like that's that's beyond 70, but... Yes, yes it does. That's how numbers work. Shut up, Claire. Um, just... Yeah, Joshua also says in the chat, RCS requires monopropellant and thrusters. You do not have these. Okay. So, we're right now, we're, we're still gaining altitude, which I think is probably bad. Um, I need to just, I'm going to slightly get, I'm just going to get it right, nail it right on. Right, we're exactly horizon and exactly 90 degrees. This is exactly where chat has been telling me where to go. Alright, and the problem is I'm really worried that once again we're going to run out of liquid fuel before that thing finishes its like business going up. Before we actually get into the position. Because liquid fuel we're down to our last third already. We're now at 200 kilometers. Which probably means... So you now need to reach, apparently, uh, 2,400 metres per second. 2,400... They're saying, um, they're saying it, it is now like that because you didn't turn in time earlier. Yeah. Well, actually, look at this. Uh, this is... stop burning. Stop Stop burning? I don't know. You just... Are... Everyone was saying, oh, why, why is your thruster not at maximum, you fool? They're right. saying contradictory things, all right? I all right, okay. Trying. Liquid fuel. Okay, fuel has been deactivated. Let's check if this is still expanding. Uh, Yannick Binder gave us her five That dollars. is now not growing anymore. That is now not growing. I need to turn this back on at least a little bit, because otherwise we're not, we're, not, we're not escaping anymore. I'm just going to put it on at, like, half. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to... Yeah, now it's growing again. I think, actually, I think we've nearly done it. I think we're almost there. Look at this. This is actually expanding pretty nicely. We're now far enough away from whatever the hell this planet that the Kerbins live on is that we're actually almost into... We're almost into... Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me this one. Give me this one. How much fuel do we have left? We've still got some fuel. <gasps> oh. Yeah. People oh. are saying this wouldn't 
would have worked if John had started turning What do you mean would have worked? Look, look how it's about to work. Look at this is totally about to work. Probably. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going. Don't stop. You need to burn as you reach the highest point oh. of popsis. I think we might actually have an orbit. I think okay, okay, now we need to okay, now we need to stop. Now we need to No, that's the that's the opposite of stop. No, that's the C off full throttle until the orbit is a circle, John. Oh that's that's what I just did. I think it is. I think it is a yeah, circle. Guys, you need to tell us full throttle until the orbit is a circle. You can't tell us to go prograde at the apothesis. We don't know what that means. The apo right? the apotheosis? No, we're turning no, him I into know a what god. Apotheosis means, all right? <laughs> Apocalypsitosis. We don't have any pumpkins. <laughs> all right. I all think right. we've done it. <laughs> this looks. This looks like an orbit to me. And yeah. we've got enough fuel left over to actually, like, now as we've turned off the throttle, we have enough fuel left over to actually turn ourselves back in after we're done. Some people are saying you're stuck forever, but let's see. Come on, no, we're not stuck forever. We've still enough liquid fuel that when I when I get over to this bit, we yeah, over to this a, bit. There's apparently a tutorial for orbiting efficiently. We don't do tutorials on this channel. You are the tutorial, all right? You are the tutorial. This tutorial. <laughs> your face is tutorial. <laughs> you, this is this is look. We've we've made an orbit. Why can't you just be happy for us? Why can't you be happy for us? Right? Why? Also, I'm just gonna I'm gonna flipping. We're gonna do some experiments now. We're in orbit. Right. All right, whilst you do that, yeah. uh, shout out to Night Commander who gave us 10 Australian dollars, says, finally made it to a live stream, much love from Australia. We love our Australian viewers. We love the Australians, we it's love them. It's a ridiculously late, uh, late shout out if you watched the full uh, stream to Rose, who uh, had to go to bed a little bit earlier. Oh, and also Rose. Sir Roderick Quincy, font on the bottom, the magnificent hiking Australia, um, who also went to bed, because... It's got actually stuff to do tomorrow. Cog, did I forgot to put thermometers on this thing? There's a, oh, there it is. There it is. Right, log the temperature. Right, so if we can just get this old girl back, uh, which as has been established might be a bit of a problem, Yeah. then we get loads of science. But I can transmit the data for like 42% of the science. So, and also uh -huh. I... Yeah, so, and also I can... Uh, do a... Hang on, transfer crew. Wait, where was the EVA thing that we saw last time? So you click the module, and then you... Yeah, uh, click the module. Like science or whatever, and then you have to click on the actual person. Ah, yeah, 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 right, but so... But also, I'm not sure you've EVA. done research that allows you to do EVAs, unless you've done... Well, that. this person is now clinging to the edge of this thing, and now I'd like that person to EVA report, please. Okay. So EVA report is worth a lovely, lovely... Yep, that's what, actually we can transmit that data for 100% of the science value. So I'm transfer. So I've transferred that. Wait, no usable. Okay. Oh, we don't have any electricity, so we can't. No, no, no. Wait a minute. People were saying earlier that the one of the engines yeah. was also producing some electricity as well. So you might have electricity if uh, it's the right kind of. Energy. I just tried to, to transmit it, and it said no usable in range comms devices. No, was this because you were all far? I'm literally right next to them. They're right there. Right there. They're literally yeah, the top. Yeah, but like, are you at the closest or furthest away point from Earth from your orbit? Because if you are on the like really far away point from your orbit, then you might be. That's true. But it did say no comms things. Okay. I mean, um, Grey Morality says, uh, in order to get back, you will need to burn backwards at the highest point to lower the opposite side of the orbit. The highest point, is in like the furthest yeah, point I from think Earth. So. Uh, Magra's polar bear, who's also... Oh, yeah, to, to, to slow us down. Yeah, yeah, to slow us down so that this thing will start going in towards Earth. That makes sense. Yeah, also Magra's polar bear, who's been super, super helpful uh, in the yeah. chat, saying to get back, wait until the ship is near the AP marker on the map, which is the apopsis, which is like the highest point of orbit. Mm -hmm. um, then burn backwards towards... Then burn towards the yellow cross. Also, cross your fingers and pray. Yeah, we probably should do that. Okay, I, I think we I think we can figure this out. Like, we're only 424,000 metres oh from home. Goodness. Well, we're in space. This is what we're supposed Ooh. to do. Where's the moon, by the way? Where is that moon thing? The moon is... Oh, cock. Oh, okay, they're saying... The moon's a long way away. No, they're saying it doesn't work because you're outside of the ship right now because you're doing the EVA. Ah. And, like, when you're back in, you'll be able to... I'll be able to do it. Fine. Okay, well, okay, let's... Uh... Let's see if we can do that, then. <laughs> Sorry. 
Right, EVA report, transmit that. Nice! Starting transmission. Beautiful. So, oh. Communitron 16 return it's aborted. Possibly we're too far away. Uh, okay, it's fine. <sighs> right, so. What we need to do is, yeah, like they were saying, we need to basically be facing away from the way we're going. And then... Then we just need to burn everything we've got, which is not much. We do not have much fuel left. But it's, as they say, it's literally the only way we can get anyone back home at this point. Um, so, what we need to do is just turn ourselves... Do we have any form of control? Or do I need to be, do I need to be burning fuel before anything happens? Because right now I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any response from the ship. Do I need, do I need to f f throttle up just slightly, just for the sake of, if I just throttle up ever so slightly, can I at that point, okay, at that point I can do that. Now, presumably, if I'm, if that's the planet there, then the angle will be, oh yeah, if I want to turn around, then I need to be at exactly 270 degrees, because I was just at 200 and, at 90. So if I want to be the opposite, I need to be at exactly 270, alright, so if it, exactly 270 should be precisely backwards, from where I was. So I'm now presumably in the correct orientation. And now I'm going to throttle down to save fuel. Okay. Now I need to, like they were saying, wait until the furthest point of the the thing. And then once I'm like out here. Then I basically just throttle as hard as I can at uh, that. And then I can... Now you need to throttle a little to turn, apparently. Yeah, that's what I've just but done. Don't yeah. burn too much I've when literally, you want to go back. Yeah, I've burned the max amount. So basically, I just need to wait until I'm at the furthest point. So let's speed up time a little bit here. Because we need to get over to our to this bit. Right, so just slow it down. And then get over to this point. Okay. So, what I need to be doing is I need to basically be... Right, slow it down, right about there. Okay, back down to one time. That's a you know, tiny bit further, tiny, tiny bit further. 10 times speed. Okay, 50 times speed. Okay, that'll do, that'll do, slow it down. Right, so now, if I'm right, what I should be doing is I should be facing, I think the ship needs to be, this isn't quite right. Now the ship needs to be, because if the- Yeah, you if, need to turn. Yeah, I need to turn slightly. John, you can't turn, apparently, because you use all the electricity to send a message. I've still got fuel. I, I just activated a tiny bit a tiny bit of that and I, I was able to turn. So I think I can still... Yeah, I can still turn a little bit. I can definitely still turn a tiny bit here. Uh, right, 240. And then up. And then that sh Yeah, um... If you use... Okay, so Kyle says you run out of electricity by transmitting, which means that caps fuels the reaction wheels can't spin the ship around. Right, But you Throttle can use off. the... But yeah. you can use a liquid engine to generate power. Yeah. So now basically what I need to do is if I just now, now facing that way, if I now fire everything I've got, I might have a chance of resetting the orbit in such a way as I will intercept with the planet again, presumably. So all I need to do now is basically throttle up like crazy and we've done it. That's it. We've already done it. That is, we are now going to bring her back into to Earth. So we may as well now at this point... <laughs> We're done. We're done. We've actually done oh, it. Look at that. To Look at that. Look at that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Shout out to Thomas who says seriously tomorrow I will upload my reaction into the time lapse to my channel. Okay. So now, oh. now okay, we've burnt fuel, but now we're actually mm. on a collision course with planet. Mm. We've done it. We've actually <laughs> done it. Shout out to Kieran who gave us five pounds and said, Ah, oh, I see John also subscribes to the Jeremy Clarkson School of Rocket Science. Ignore the geeks. More power. <laughs> Look, has it or has it not worked? Well, the is saying you're dead, so... I'm not dead. I've got a heat shield. I just need to, I just need to jettison this and then I've got a heat shield. Don't crash. Stop, stop, stop. Stop thrusting. You're overdoing it, John. You're gonna die. Stop. Dead. <laughs> You're all such You're all such negative Nelly. You're such You're such negative Nelly. All of you are so negative. Alright. It is fine. <laughs> it is fine because now at this point we probably activate the next stage of the process, which is now we detach that. Okay. And now we just basically just make sure. Have I just screwed up the? No, the orbit's fine. Then I just basically turn this girl around. I just turn this girl around a bit to line her up with the Earth, and then we just bring her in with the heat shield. And I may as well just prep the parachute now. 
so now, basically, we can just speed up time a little bit. There we go, as we just kind of come towards Earth into its reassuring, comforting embrace. But while we do that, just kind of, you know, maybe just at 5x speed as the sun comes around, it's all rather pretty. Claire, yes. you have a moment to get us back up to speed. Yeah, um, shout out to uh, Neil Marshall, who gave us five pounds, said, fun fact, no Kerbal has done has yet done science around the base. You can drive your equipment to each building, including thermometers, and mine them for science. That's cool. Uh, shout out also to Gav, who gave us £10 and said, Hi both, I'm loving this stream. Have you guys considered doing a stream with Dan and Rebecca? I feel like it would be interesting with Claire and Rebecca reading chat and Dan and Tom playing. Oh, that would be fun. Dan, Dan and I vaguely discussed doing something else at some point, so we may do something at some point. Meta Clip gave us ten, uh, twenty dollars even, sorry, and said uh, when it thins out a line, it get, it gets blown away. So the away that it's blown towards is based on the center of mass. An arrow or a dart was has a heavy bit at the front and fins at the back, so it flies straight. Uh, a hanger, like guys, you can't you can't use you can't like use abbreviations of sciencey things that I'm not gonna know. <laughs> Um, now, presumably, by the way, I, I think I've got the right angle, by the way, because at this point, the ball thinks that I'm basically, I'm I'm ass down, face up. Okay. Now, yeah. admittedly, I, I do see that we're going pretty fast right now. I yeah. do see that's that's moderately fast. Yes. Which I'm, I'm beginning to see some of the issue that might potentially be coming in here. Like the fact that we're, we're literally plummeting to earth at spit. Okay. Okay, I so think the, the heat will die... Do not deploy the parachute until below 10 kilometers or it will get destroyed. The parachute is basically parachute automatic. The cannot handle that speed. Okay. You opened the parachute, John. I didn't open the parachute. I, well, oh, I need. Someone says you opened it. Okay, come on, come on, little heat shield. Come on, little heat shield. Come on, little heat shield. Prove them all wrong. Prove them all wrong. I believe in you, you little heat the shield. Too early, it will burn up. I didn't deploy it. I, I, I staged it to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, you're getting- well, You can open the parachute in like, <gasps> soon. Screw you all, screw you all, open screw you all. No, it's, 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 it, no, it's, it's staged automatically. It's already staged. It's in, it's in. Screw you all, screw you all, screw you all. John Space Program, screw you all. And also Claire, screw everyone. Because I have created the base best bro spread back on damn I fluffed it at the end. Please explode <laughs> now. It would be so beautiful. Oh shit, I need to I need to jetson this. I need to jetson this. Jetson the heat shield. Screw you. Screw you. Get up get off my ship! Get off oh, the ship! This is why drug shoots are for. Uh Racer Cowan <laughs> says drug shoots are uh -uh. just slowing it down so that the real parachute doesn't rip off. Screw you all, screw you all. My ship worked, my ship worked. Thank you for people offering actual help in the comments. Yeah, all uh, the people like, no, so dead, no, too fast, dilly dilly dilly. No, 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 we got this. We got this. I am the king of space. <laughs> yes! We're going to get so much science out of that. I'm going to be able to buy so many more powerful engines, and that's how we're getting to the moon. Okay, well, thank you very much to Metacliff, who sent this message about the center of mass that John ignored earlier. Um, yes, uh, also pay attention to it because the center of mass changes as the fuel burns up. Ah, okay. Yeah, because... Uh, that's one of the overlays. Changes. The that's, mass changes. That's one of the overlays I can do, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the overlays I can do when I'm building the ship. Yeah. Mr. Maple Syrup gave us five pounds and said, Thanks, John and Claire, for distracting me from A-level physics by not doing space. Uh, and please name the next rocket if I the 13 since it's going to fall. I'm going to put that in the list. Mm -hmm. uh, but the list is already quite long and we're not I think I think next. Now, so. I think next is the first moonshot. The, oh, so Luna. The, the plan is not to actually land on the moon. We just need to get, like, you know, a, close to it or whatever. Has not exploded. No explosion. Recover the vessel. That is going to be so much cocking science. That oh, is right. going to be... All of the cocking science. Oh, look at that science. 67 science earned. Boom. Boom. And Valentina has done a marvellously good job. Right, into research and development. Right, I want bigger, more... Ah, I can't afford bigger, more heavy rockets. Boo! Boo! And all of that's really expensive. Right, what else do we have here? General construction. 
Crew cabins. Hmm. If I want additional additional things, Rocco Max brandy cup. And obviously, I have no problem with the with the existing decoupler. I think I'm fine with that, to be honest. Uh, right, aviation. Uh, that's just like landing. Oh, there you go. Uh, what? Shout out to Emily in the chat. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Uh, she says Dragon Age took you to victory. This is a huge hint, John. <laughs> I don't know which Come science on, I should. I don't know which science I should have at this point. Um, Can you make any dragons with science? Hint, hint. Uh huh. Well, technically, I'm I... helping, girl. I have noticed that over here, if I want to land on the moon, I'm gonna need uh, a la I'm gonna need landing. So I should probably start heading in that direction, shouldn't I? That logically makes sense. Because uh, uh, shout out to uh, my grass polar bear. Just gave us five pounds and said. Uh, Yay, not dead. Remember the NASA prayer. NASA, even, prayer. Please, dear God, don't let me flip up today. Magress Polar Bear, do you actually work at NASA? Because that would be really cool. NASA. Claire, NASA. NASA. Whatever. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Right. And general construction. Right. I think we just need to start working towards landing. Because if we want to get on the moon, we're going to need a landing craft, aren't we? That, that feels pretty important. Okay, while you read up uh, all the instructions and uh, decide which one you want, yeah. uh, shout out to Yannick, who gave us $5 and said, uh, can, can you take a page out of the Scab Skaven Space Program book, even, and replace heat shields with meat shields? <laughs> <laughs> I approve. I approve of this plan. This is a good plan. There we are. <laughs> Okay. Flipping solar panels are a long way down the tech tree, damn it, to actually have flipping electricity and whatever. That's a long way down this direction, which it seems important to have electricity in some ways. And there's space exploration. This is presumably related to, yeah, ah, a rover, if you want to have a little we rover a, or whatever, yeah. Mm, we have some more uh, scientific information about absolute zero. Ooh. Peter Weitzman gave us two pounds and said absolute zero is where all the particul particles cease to move. And uh, Grey Morality gave us $10 and said to get below absolute zero, atoms would have to slow down enough that they stop and then slow down more after they stopped. Mm hmm So there you so go. So they'd have to be going backwards. Got it. Okay. There's still movement, John. People were saying the inline reaction wheel would, let, would have let me turn without using fuel. Now, where does it need to be put in the construction in order to allow that to happen? Because um, I'm going to take that because that moves us towards... Uh, landing anyway, though I think I need this, I think I need aviation too, but I'm not sure. Right, okay. The next big thing we need to do is, we're building Luna, and we just want to, yeah, we're starting afresh here, start afresh. Uh, we're literally just going to, we're not planning to like, you know, land on the moon, or anything, but this is operation just let's get to the moon. It potentially violently. Um, so that's fine, that's all as it should be, uh, but we've got Wait, what happened to the... What to the pod? Just, just... You already can turn without fuel. You already can? Wait, I, I couldn't. You, I was just told previously I had to... I had to reset that. Uh, also, apparently I got enough still and just got a mark one command thing. Right, so... What I need, presumably, is just an absolute flipping ton of boosters after boosters after boosters after boosters. So my original plan, my very original plan just to get as high as possible, logically, if I repeat that, that will actually work quite nicely. So what that's what I'm going to do at this point. So what we need is we need a nice, good, solid um, a thumper. All right. Are those can, can we turn those? Did we determine whether we could turn those or not? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, what we're going to do... Yeah, we're just going to alternate those. We can just alternate those a little bit. So we alternate that with... Because we got really high and really far with that last one. And logically, space, once you get sufficiently far away from Earth, you're not being pulled down anymore. So you need to use less, like, thrust or whatever. So... Actually, if I, I probably don't even need all of that. If I can just use those to get into space, and after that, I just need enough flipping liquid fuel. But okay, no the wheel thing you asked about. Earlier. Yes, yes, the wheel um, thing. The in the sorry, the inline reaction wheel is for big rockets. The capsule has small reaction wheels built in. Batteries would be a better option to begin with, says Magres Paul Bear, who actually seems. I don't have I don't have ba batteries though. That tech doesn't exist yet. I don't have that technology. Wait a minute, can you not research batteries yet? I could have done, but I took the stuff that was going to lead into landing craft instead. Ah. 
Okay. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I just need to... I just need a... An absolute flipping ton of fuel here. I need... And I just need a huge amount of power. Okay, wait. Hang on. If I just do what I just did, but like twice... Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Magra's poll there also says uh, the thumper does not help with turning. You should only put it in the first stage. Okay. In that case, I'm going to need a lot of fuel. And yeah. I mean a lot of fuel. And Starter said the reason you couldn't turn earlier was because you ran out of electricity, not because you didn't already have the technology required to turn. Ah, okay. Well, okay. Let's just have a flip ton of fuel right here. Okay. Flip ton of fuel and then like a really powerful, whatever the most powerful one is. There we are, the Reliant. It does not have solar panels yet. I don't, I definitely don't, I definitely don't have solar panels yet. I do not have that technology yet. You should use five stages apparently. Five stages? We are not renaming the ship Future Crater One Dwarven Pony. That is rude. It's named after a puppy, a puppy that we're about to smash into the moon. <laughs> That's the plan. Shh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Dwarven Pony gave us ten dollars, so thank you very much for that. We're still not doing that. Mm -hmm. um, right. So then, what we need is okay. Here's here's the plan. Here's here's the really cunning plan here. So we now need a four bunch of yeah, four bunch of these just attached to just attach that as low as possible. How low is this? We need to go. There we go. So four of them right there. Now, are we willing? Can we attach a four X coupler? To the bottom of these. Yeah, we can. So, a 4x coupler to the bottom of these. And then I'm just going to add another four of the massive engines down to... The there we go. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now, this, this, is, this is exactly what we need. Okay. So, now what we need is... Now, we just do exactly the same again. Because this will give me enough thrust to get... Actually, probably two is enough. Probably two of them is enough right there. So we'll, do, we'll have these fire, all right, and then those will activate, and actually these can, those can be the same thing. So we'll just have those come down to, to, to here. Yeah, and then those all, right, fire. Deactivate, then these activate. Then we decouple these and this activates, but that could come down into, into this one, right, okay. Yeah, that, that decouples and then this activates. And then we've also got flipping tons of fuel. Yeah, okay. I know this isn't that sophisticated, but it's going to have enough power to punch our way to the moon. Because that, that is what this space program is about. We are going to punch the moon god in the face. Too long as the moon be like, oh, you can't get me. I'm all over here. No, we are going to send the fist of Luna to the moon and we are going to punch that bastard right in his smug, cratery face. Right. And just in case we actually, like, you know, get there or whatever, we should probably, like, put some... Actually, there's not much point taking science there, because this thing, this thing's not designed to come back. So, this is just an experiment. This is Wait, just... what do you mean the puppy ship isn't designed to come back? The puppy ship is totally designed to come back, but it might not do. We won't want to distract the puppy with science, is what I meant to say. Okay, now we just now we just put the where's the where's the heat thing? Where's the no it's in the aerodynamics, isn't it? I need I need the things on the top. There we go. There's the oh need stages, it's going to fall apart. This is not good okay. It looks a little unstable when you look at it like this. Okay, uh decouplers and struts apparently you need. I've got decouplers. There's decouplers everywhere, it's fine. You need it in the heat shield apparently. No, I can, I can, I'll just manually do that one. I've always just manually done that one, it's fine. Um, there's the, there's the heat shield, there's the, oh, you're right, I actually haven't, I've never put a, yeah. yeah, okay, fine, yeah, that's okay then, yeah, you're, you're right, okay, just, yeah, you should definitely rename the ship the Fist of Luna, by the way, because <laughs> Luna, people are loving that, <laughs> okay, uh, one additional decoupler, yeah, and then we put that at the bottom, and then the we, the middle ship is not going to be controllable, you have no decouplers for the capsule, which, uh, that, that's just been, that's there. just been fixed, that's just been fixed, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you don't have struts to keep the rocket stable. It will end badly in the most beautiful way. Yeah, but I don't need. I just want it to go. I just need it to go up. I just need it to get far enough away from like Kerbal or the Kerbin. Rockets are going to bend and hit each other. Use struts. Why would they do that? Because someone in chat is telling you, and they probably like have a better idea of how. It's oh, that's to true. Because they're not actually attached to anything. That's true. That's really true. How do I use that? Um, what's, is that in, like, structural? Can I just put a, can I, can I do that to, to, to here? Can I just attach? 
Does that work? Does that, what does that do? Are those attached? I've heard, are those, okay, I've, I've attached a structure. I'm not sure I've actually got any, like, struts or whatever. Uh, I've got wings. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put these on here. There we go. We got, we got wings now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach some fins as well. Yeah, fins. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna give it a go, and we're gonna learn by doing. The Fist of Luna will, will, the Fist of Luna is gonna be fine. This is gonna, oh, we've even got a dramatic night time. Oh, this is... <laughs> Yes, this is the best rocket. Right, throttle up. Good luck, Bill Kerman, because you're in this. Okay, this is this is possibly going to explode immediately. Uh oh, it's sort of vibrating at the bottom. <laughs> it's sort of vibrating, but it's fine. Oh, it's because it's really heavy. The problem is it's really heavy. Um, that's part of the issue. It's because I'm trying to I'm trying to take a lot of fuel up into space right now. Right, I'm seeing the pro- uh oh, uh oh, no, no, Stab stabilize, 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 stab stabilize, stabilize. Okay, it's, it's, it's starting to, it's starting to, to go a bit wrong, but we can, we can fix that when we actually decouple the first stage, which we can probably do like, now, right, this, this bit's gonna be, there we go, no. There we go. I forgot to turn it on. It's fine. 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 Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why is it going in this direction? I feel like it shouldn't be going in this direction. Also, it's spinning. Why is it? Why is it? And also, why is it? Why is it glowing like that? What's it doing? Claire, that's probably bad, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Kyle gave us two dollars and hmm. said you should use the red circles next to the nav port to auto aim. The red red circles? Next to the nav port in order to Retrograde, prograde, radial Yeah, but it's using words like retrograde and, and stuff and I don't know. Yeah, but you know what? In your People have been defining these words for us in chat and in super chat the entire time. I've been trying to read them out to you. You're not listening. That's part of the problem. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you want me to define those words for you? I literally have a list of stuff that I need to read out to you. Excellent. That Good. Will explain what it is. What do you want to know? Um, retrograde versus prograde. All right, just a second. Let me find it. Right. So where are we, where the cock are we right now? This is this has gone not great. This is. This isn't really close to the moon, to be honest. I thought this was gonna, like, you know, majestically soar forever, but it's, it's. I feel like we just have nowhere near enough power to do that. That's not even like close right now, and we, we, like, we didn't even get anywhere near as high as last time. And also, everything's now on fire and about to explode. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel, which is good, but I don't seem to have like the control I need because I just don't have. Um. So basically, what they're all saying that prograde is forwards and retrograde is backwards because if you Progress. are in a space where you know you don't have just have like north and south and left and right and whatever but you also have the direction to and from the like in relation to the planet that makes sense so yeah that's what you've got uh and let me actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a, a, a like literally a search like a control f of everybody that mentions but you should do <laughs> prograde in their comments because there are three of them. And I'm going to let you know what they want you to do. I think the parachute just caught on fire, by the way. That's right, you don't need that. You didn't want to land. That, well, I don't, well, I didn't want to land on the moon. I didn't want to crash into Earth. That's just pointless. Oh, I thought you were saying you like, literally didn't want to come back. Well, um, I don't want to come back, but I wanted to make it to the moon. Mr. Maple Syrup says, Prograde is specifically forwards as in the direction of velocity. Retrograde is the reverse. So prograde is always the direction in which you are going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lyle gave us five dollars, uh, five pounds, and said you should use SAS and set the prograde option on the controls to the right of the spinny ball. It's the one. Uh, the okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan gave us a hundred Norwegian krona and said that to achieve orbit efficiently and to achieve re-entry, there are four words you need to understand: prograde, retrograde, horizontal, and Oberth effect. Someone tell me about Oberth, Oberth effect. Because I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think we just actually, we, we almost, I think we just basically, we've managed to convert this mess into an orbit. The problem is, I need to, con I don't know, like, let's talk about the moon next. How are we going to get to the cocking moon? 
Like, if I just basically... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna power down right now. I'm going to power down everything. Because okay. we're, we're getting really far away from Earth right now. And once I'm sufficiently far away from Earth, at that point, maybe I'll be able to, like, fix things a bit. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna throttle off entirely. Because I'm, I'm not going the right way right now. Okay, shout out to Neil Marshall. Give us uh, five pounds and said, um, number one, this is the best stream ever. Number two, if you're headed to the moon, you absolutely need to get the chat to teach you the way of the maneuver node. I don't know what that is, but I'm not sure you have one. So. Is that like that thing in like the film Lost in Space where you spin round and round the Earth faster or run round Jupiter in order to like jump to Alpha Centauri? Because that was in the film Lost in Space. Which was great, because Gary Oldman really chewed the scenery in that one. Anyway, uh, Kyle gave us $5, said, word of caution, caution even. Boosters do not regenerate electricity. Only fuel burning engine can regenerate electricity to use SAS. We have one of those, though, don't we? Yes, I think um, we do. Okay, yeah, now. Yeah, that's what the Oberth effect is. Uh, no! Oh, flip! I missed the... Wait, what happened? What What? What happened to the, or the orbit? What happened to the orbit? The orbit's... Claire, the orbit's shrinking. Are you... Falling? I, we, we, we went a bit wrong there for a second. I went Wait, a bit... No, no, no. Is it what we, isn't that what we want, though? Don't we want it to stabilise like that? Well, not, not, if, not if you're on fire. And also the parachute's, like, on fire right now, too. Um, I thought we wanted to... We, I wanted to get further away. I thought we were... All right, just whack up the throttle a bit. Whack up the throttle a bit. Just... Never mind. Okay. Anyway, so people were saying the Oberth effect is using planets like a slingshot. Also yes, a like planet. in Lost in Space. Like in The Martian. Like in Lost in Space. And also The Martian, a, v a vastly inferior film. Oh, I'm sorry. In The Martian, does Gary Oldman turn into a giant, terrible CGI bug? No. No, he doesn't. Inferior film. Does Liam Neeson chew the scenery in The Martian? No, he does not. The Martian has Sebastian Stan in it. Is there a giant robot that says danger, danger, Will Robinson in The Martian? The Martian no! has Sebastian Stan in it. <laughs> okay, so somebody's dead. Let's just revert to vehicle assembly here. This, I think, was not as a good idea as it initially looked like to the chat. <laughs> oh, no fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> I feel like John must have done an airport CEO, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Hey, uh, shout out to Wolfric who gave us uh, five Australian dollars and said, John, good job on breaking uh, <laughs> since um, now you are hurting my brain. Now stop, you are hurting my brain. Wolfric, I feel you, man. <laughs> uh... Axlefak mm -hmm. gave us five dollars and said, "You're doing great, John. If it helps, NASA started off learning how to get to space in basically the same way you are: launch, crash, fix, repeat." Yep. This this seems yep, about. Yep. 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 Wait, yep. What the what? What? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's doing much of the fixing, but uh, yeah. There we go. You just get get out of there, because apparently they're already. You get get go away. Go away. Apparently there already was one. Right. I'm going to repeat the trick of the first... I'm just... I just want to... What's the... Okay. Let's... Okay. Let's... Let's... How about... I've got an idea, Claire. Yeah. Instead of just plugging more and more engines onto my spaceship and trying to just power my way to the moon... Yeah. Let's have a chat with the chat. That, that's a good idea, John. So, what... Given it feels like I can't just power my way to the moon, so if I put more engines on, I'm just adding more weight... Yeah. The more the more engines I put on, the more weight I'm adding, and thus it's like the initial takeoff is a lot slower and a lot more difficult uh, because it just feels like we're just slowing everything down. Just because the additional weight just means we're not we're not gaining anything. Yeah. Every for every additional engine I slap on, that's just more weight I'm trying to get into space, which slows down the initial takeoff. So therefore, no matter how many engines I slap on, I'm not I'm probably I'm even getting I'm getting worse results rather than better. Yeah. So, okay, I can figure out how to get a basic rocket into space, and we know how to achieve an orbit now. How are we going to get to the moon? Chat, over to you. Or over to the super chat, if anyone's already told us. 
Okay, well, they've told us many things, but I'm not sure they've told us exactly how to get to the moon. So, how to get uh, to the moon, okay. Let, us, um, le let me read out a few things to you that might be helpful. Yes, uh, Black okay. Blackheart gave us $5 and said, Our moon is so far away that it can fit all the planets minus the rings and between the Earth and the moon, John, just so you know where the moon kind of is. Quite far away, you right. you were surprised. Yeah. Um, you could, fit, the, you could fit Jupiter between us and the moon. That feels yeah, wrong. Apparently. Yeah. I'm not questioning other people's science knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Joshua Jensen gave us two dollars, says progressively smaller and lighter stages. That's what the the uh, chat is saying. The chat is saying, um, okay, Valerio says capsule decoupler, fuel small engine decoupler, more fuel, big engine. Should be kind of the stages that you have. So you need like a, a little thing that actually handles the getting to the moon but actually like a big ass thing at the bottom that just punches you out of the atmosphere then you get progressively smaller so a three basically what they're telling me is i need to build a pyramid of strength yes a space pyramid of strength literally that was a comment like 10 minutes in the live stream yeah that i told you about and you completely ignored it i just assumed it was a joke right space pyramid of strength you say okay Anyway, instead of having each stage being the same stuff, uh, try more engines uh, on to add more engines onto the earlier stages to go faster. Thank you, Racer Cowan. More um, more engines onto the. Well, I already had like eight engines on the earlier stage. I had flipping loads of engines on the earlier stage. That didn't seem to be working desperately well. Richard Irwin says multi stage using liquid fuel. Every engine that you eject reduces weight. Saturn V was three stages plus the moon orbiting engine. So each stage gets progressively smaller and lighter, but you do want a three-stage process. Okay, so let's just start off with just like a few... Actually, no, probably it's more efficient to go for a single... Uh, also, Jonathan uh, gave us $2 and said, left-click on your orbit to create a manoeuvre node. Left-click <laughs> or orbit to create a manoeuvre node. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, and... Um... Shout out to uh, UC who uh, said we should call it a pyramid of thrust. Pyramid of thrust, like it. That's a good one. Like it, like um, that a lot. Okay, so this is the third and final stage. A little light one at the top. So we need to decouple that. We just need to stick a decoupler on this thing. So big oh, okay, so people are saying, sorry, first stage one engine, second stage four engine, third stage eight engine, etc. So more at the bottom because you use that to like get yourself like off the earth that's what takes the most energy and then because you jettison those mm -hmm. you are lighter you don't need as much that intuitively so makes sense add yes more engines and more power but you just need to be careful in how you have them okay them, right okay so let's now go for yeah and then let's go for the the hammery ones and we'll just we'll stick a hammer one here and then we'll surround that with an additional four hammers say for the sake of balancing the thing. And then underneath that, we'll de- we'll, Actually, no, I'll stick the decoupler on now uh, before I forget. So then we'll stick another decoupler on. Shout out to Thomas, who says, you know, he's doing pretty well for his first time. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you, Thomas. Don't want to- we'll No, decoupler- No, I'll put the decoupler on- The decoupler on- Okay. Uh, Kyle says you should uh, stop using the LVT-30 engines. The terrier is better on top, and the swivel is better elsewhere because it can steer. Okay. The so you're using the wrong engine. You should use one called the terrier at the top, and then the other ones should be the swivel engines. Okay. Uh, right, hang on. I just need to see where that is, because that is... Uh, now, that's fuel. That is the... What is... What is how do you see what, what, what something is? Uh, that's that. That's... How do, how do you actually figure out what you're doing? I don't, I can't, I don't know how you... Okay, just shut up. John, 2017, <laughs> how do you actually figure out what you're doing? Shut up, Claire. Oh, come on, that was beautiful. I'm just going to assume it's fine. Uh, right, okay, so I just need another... Before I forget what I'm doing, all right, I just need another another four hammers attached to here. Okay, so this is this is the five that make up the second tier. All right, and then we just need the the aerodynamics on top, the noses for all of them. Then we just need more decouplers under the. Then we just need yeah more decouplers underneath. So yeah, we'll just go for a decoupler, coupler yeah decoupler under here, right? Decoupler under there, and then we just need at the bottom 
tier, we need the, the great big lads. Uh, so we'll just put one of them at the bottom. And then um, we'll... They're yeah. saying you have the engine uh, above the decoup decoupler and you should click the decoupler and fix that. The, the engine above the decoupler. That's it. The engine is currently using on the top stage is the LVT30, which is the problem. Okay. How do I change that without throwing out the whole thing? I don't know, but I just want to give a shout out to uh, Grey Morality, which just gave us $100. Because so, uh, I see this is here, um, or do I need to? Okay, do I need to throw that away? Okay, what's the one? Okay, I'm just gonna throw this away. What's the one that they say I should be using? The swivel? No, you should be using the terrier on top and the swivel elsewhere. But elsewhere, I'm not using liquid at all. Elsewhere, I'm just using the. Th well, the... you should be using liquid. It's better. Right. It's more efficient. Okay. So terrier there, and then we'll just stick a new a new decoupler on the terrier. All right. <laughs> Um, so that's that. Okay. So as I was saying, shall wait, I... hang on, hang, wait, wait, wait. How do you? No, how do you do multiple? Wait, hang on. Get get rid of all of that. Okay. Now I need to. So I need more fuel now for this this stage here. So I need a load more fuel for this stage here, and probably even more fuel because they're now saying use use liquid for this stage. So I'm probably going to need more fuel because this is going to be a more intensive one because I'm I'm feeding like five different rockets. So that's fine. So at the bottom of this one, they said the swivel, right? They said swivel for second stage. Yeah. Swivel for second stage. But the problem is now I've got. There's no way to... Because they said use one, then like four, then like eight. Yeah. But there's one no way... One person said that. One person said that. Yeah, but, the, mean... the, but there was no consensus. Yeah, well, I'm... Yeah. Because, like, the, 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 only way, the only way to have multiple swivels would be presumably to have... Oh, unless, of course, I had... Hang on. Okay, I see how you do that, I think. Um, probably, anyway. Um, let's just couple onto the side of here with a four... So we'll just have a, a four there, and then I just need more fuel tanks, and the fuel tanks are going to act as, yeah, okay, and then the fuel tanks will be where we keep the swivels, the other swivels, I mean. So, okay, and then we also just need an aerodynamic, yeah, an aerodynamic on top of those, okay, and then we just need additional swivels at the bottom. So we're going to have a, a flip ton of swivels all together, so yeah, there we are. So now we've got a flip ton of swivels at the bottom. Now we need to go down to the lower stage, and that's powered by all this fuel, and also this fuel here. And now we need the tertiary stage where we do go for the hammer just to punch us out of the atmosphere, which is the correct approach, is the understanding I'm picking up here. Right, so now we just put a thing here, and then we also need below that, so after under that decoupler, we need the, the hammer, and also, I just need I just need one hammer here, and then they were saying I need even more hammers, so I need to go up to like I mean, no, eight. literally no one else said you needed to use the hammers. They don't like it that you're still using the hammers, they want you to use liquid fuel. I like the hammers. I know you do, but don't <laughs> pretend that there's some kind of consensus about it. Shut up! Just, okay, fine. Don't use the hammers. No, none of you are fun, they're massive and they're called hammer. Good. Uh, right, okay. Hey, you know what else is good? What? It's Grey Morality, because he gave us $100 and we've been oh, trying wow. to tell you. Well, thank you very you much. Wouldn't listen. I'm trying to build a rocket. <laughs> I'm trying to build a rocket. Yeah, but I thought we agreed that, you know, like... Is it, is, is, it the, is it the swivel for the third stage as well? Yeah, I think so. Thank yeah. you very much, Grey Morales. That's very much appreciated. He says the real thing you need, ball the real thing you need is ballast for the bridge of your ship. What to call that, though? Uh, as a side note, I have a degree in sp space. Is he actually serious? Do I actually need ballast? I don't believe so. <gasps> Damn it! He says, side note, I have a degree in spacecraft systems. If you need help, you you do you, you have seen the stream. You know he needs help for this. Um, I don't know. It's also, I mean, he's, he's only like, a. I mean, you know, it's he may have a degree in space-based systems, but come on, it's not brain surgery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So people want you to. Um, okay. So Jordan says they are called hammers because they are a blunt tool, not precise. You need precision for you know rocket science. Um, okay. That feels like that's enough. Okay, Sammy says you should do two fuels and a terrier, 
engine, two fuels and a swivel engine, and then three fuel and a reliant engine add boosters to the bottom stage. Ah. That okay. sounds complicated. Okay, now I also need to just add some oh, fit. Now someone's saying you should use solid fuel to get out of the amp mode, which I think <laughs> is the thing you were just saying, like, you know. Um, That's what I was ammo. saying. Uh, so shout out to Kyle who gave us $2. And I think he, uh, Kyle has like been super helpful the entire stream. So he did probably, that probably you would be forgiven for using hammers if you really want to. Cock it. Let's, let's, and now I've built this, let's try using this thing to actually, this looks so not like a spaceship. <laughs> this is not what NASA would build. No, no, of course not. I mean, what I want to, what I would like to know is if your like mid engines are gonna like burn your lower engines because it does look like the thrusters are going to like be gushing flames out on everything. But anyway. Hang on, this is, okay, so sta stage one is that fires and this fires. Mm. Stage two is we get rid of that and, do we get rid of that as well? I guess we, yeah, we can get rid of all of them because we'll get rid of the fuel at the same time. So Don't put wings up that high, says Adam. Okay, get rid of these wings, gotcha. But this will become the rear of the spaceship, so won't it need those wings when this is the rear of the spaceship? And then these fire, okay, this, this comes off, this comes off, and then this can fire at the same time. So all of them can come down there. So all of those fire at the same time, and also then, then at the next stage, that is... What's that? Is that a decoupler? Is that no? That's not a decoupler. What's this one? That's that's a. Are what? we naming this one before it blows yeah, up? Yeah, we need to we need to give this one a new one. This. Okay, so the names we have um, are uh, Hang... HMS. Check your staging. Hang on, I need to. I'm, I'm literally try, I'm trying to check the staging. I'm literally right. trying to check the staging. Okay, so hang on. So first, okay, first stage, stage six. All of these engines fire together. Next stage after that. We need to ship off all of that. So we decouple this and we decouple that and all of these engines all start firing simultaneously. And I think also this thing needs to, this thing needs to fire at that stage too. So that comes down here and that fires at the same time. Yeah, that fires at the same time as that because that's one engine hidden under there. Okay, that's the next stage. We decouple all of this and these immediately start firing. Then after that point, we need to get rid of... Yeah, we need to get rid of all of these, so that can come down into three. And at the same time, this final one can fire in stage two. And then finally, at the end of that, we need to... We can, yeah, we can jettison and activate the parachute at the same time. Because that primes the parachute, nothing else. And also we'll prime the parachute up to uh, eh, minus 50. That's fine. Okay, this is... This is not going to work, but it's going to be a learning experience as to why it doesn't work. Okay, give me the names. Fire those names at me. Okay, so we have uh, the HMS Check Your Staging. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had a suggestion earlier for Candle Romanus. We already did Luna. Uh, Grey Morality uh, gave us $5 earlier and suggested a ship name idea, the Arg Oh No. Or name it after me if you want. I think you could because, you know, we just had a massive donation. Or we I like Argo No. Arg, oh no. Gog, yeah. oh no, yeah. yeah. Argo, oh no. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. so the, okay. I'm just gonna take this one out and see if it immediately falls over, because it's probably gonna immediately fall over, but I wanna just see what it does. Um, okay, can you let, um, can, can we have a few more comments before we do Yes, that? go on then. Yes, go on then. Shout out to Trim Octopus who gave us 100 rubles, and to Arthur King who gave us a Canadian dollar. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Best dollars. Uh, shout out to Andrew who gave us $10 and said, am I, am I watching KSP? Or listening to John in bed. <laughs> Maybe you do you. Uh, how many people? How many people do we have now? By the way, how many people have we got on stream right now? Uh, we've got two thousand, two thousand one hundred. Right nice, now. Yeah. good turnout. It's, it's really good. Like the chats are really, really active. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, shout, David Ziegler gave us two pa uh, two dollars and said you should name my my ship Dave. I uh, love the stream, guys. I think we might end up running out of time for names. Yeah. Uh, a few different people. Uh, <laughs> Uh, David Fennell gave us two dollars. Says John, you need to watch some Scott Manley videos. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the YouTuber that does. Um, oh, I know, I know of Scott Manley. Don't you worry, Scott I know Manley. Scott Manley. Um, yeah, and a, a few other people mentioning that. Uh, Mr. Ghost of Five gave us two dollars and said, "Oh God, I hope Scott Manley isn't watching." Uh, you'll be glad to know that uh, Thomas, in fact, tweeted Scott Manley before. <laughs> 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 but then he didn't come. 
So, so you know, he turns it up to like, I don't know, Terrence Herald or whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of worried right. that like people would show up and be like, I'm a rocket scientist and you're hurting my. We've brain. got several. We've got we've got some people who claim to be close to rocket scientists. Yeah, but like they're our people already. Uh huh. Right, okay. They're, they're, they're. Let's see how this goes, because this might immediately fall over or whatever. Mm. I'm just going to turn SAS on flipping now. Uh, okay, so, let's do this. Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, oh, four, three, two, one, launch! There we go. So, we'll see how this flipping does at this point. We're burning through liquid fuel. Why is this one... Why is that one not burning fuel? Uh oh, uh oh, Claire, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Jettison, 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 no, 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 fix it, fix no, you it. Should start turning to, uh, <laughs> You should start turning to 45 degrees. You're on 10 kilometers. 45 degrees. 45 degrees. We're going to 45. East is going to be a problem. East is going to be. I think okay, that's almost east. That's almost east. That's that's almost. No. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm trying. That, that's. The, the, the rocket has a mind of its own, okay? The rocket doesn't like it. Okay, we're, the wiggle this, rocket. This is close to east. How are we, are we out of fuel? I think we're almost out of fuel. Apart from that what? one. How are you out of fuel? Well, that one, okay, this one's mysteriously burning fuel, really cocking slowly. And I don't know why, but it just is. And the rocket has stopped basically going wibble, 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 wibble. So basically, I think we're in pretty good shape. Do you think actually, like, at some point, NASA made the conscious decision to make all its rockets look like giant cock and balls? Even though it's a, a conscious design decision at some point. That the default design for rockets should be, let's just fly a massive phallus through space. I mean, I don't think it was a conscious decision, no. I mean, I think it probably has something to do with it, but it's not a conscious decision. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Thank now, you, NASA, for... Uh, okay, we, should we be at 90 degrees now, because we're at over 40k? No, 90 degrees is at 100k. Okay, right. Uh, from 30 degrees, you should be at like 50% thrust or whatever, according from, to that one from, comment. From, thir ago. from 30 degrees? No, fr sorry, from 30 kilometers up. You Shit! At 40%. That's fine, we'll just, we'll, just, we'll just lower the thrust. It's okay, you're almost out of fuel anyway. Yeah, but we've got a whole nother bunch of fuel. We've got a massive pile of fuel in the rest of the ship, it's ah. fine. We've got loads more cock in fuel. Where's the. Where's the we don't worry, Claire, we don't blame you. This is all on John. Phew! Okay. Now we're at, we're at like 80k right now, so I think we should be. Thomas's computer is crashing. You should start uh, moving towards, towards being 90, at 90 degrees. degrees. Yeah, 90 degrees C. I agree. And we're almost out of fuel That's at this point. Oh. What? That is. Look, look, even a 90. You said 90 degrees C. Oh yeah, right. That's that's not what I meant. No, I know it's not. Okay, now activate next stage. <clears throat> Begin burning fuel. Okay, so we got rid of all of that, but we've still got a few, uh, quite a bit of fuel here, but admittedly not much. Not much fuel here. I feel like this is not going to be anywhere near enough to actually get ourselves... Not even, We might be able to get into orbit, but we're not going to make it anywhere near the moon. Is is the problem here. Like... Hmm. What was the problem? I mean, like, we're going to... Okay, we're going to be able to make an orbit. That's absolutely fine. But the best we can probably hope for is... And if I just probably... Like that they were saying, like, I just need to whack up the... the oh. What? Uh, Richard says the five engines do not share fuel, they all need their own fuel tanks. And Bracer Cohen says fuel only transfer through stack stack. Ah, verti stack vertical, tanks. vertical stack tanks. To transfer to radio tanks too, you need to research fuel systems. Right, I see. Uh, a Kieran Evans gave us two pounds says, go on John, show us your lady part inspired design. Mm -hmm. That's not going to look like a cock. Okay, let's just let's just speed up time here to cannot faster than one x while ship is under acceleration. Yeah, uh, Kyle uh, gave us five dollars and said uh, your radially attached engines. Mm, did I read that one already? I think maybe I did. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. He says your radially attached engines run out of fuel first because the decouplers, uh, so that is bad. You should attach fuel tanks directly to other fuel tanks. 
Uh, Elias also who gave us 50 Swedish kroner and says I've been up for 25 hours to watch this and I do not regret a thing. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, we wow. still have enough fuel to crack to get on with this. I mean, logically, what I want to do is I want to break. I don't want to hit orbit. I want to break from orbit. So logically, what I ought to try and do is I ought to be pushing away from Earth, right? I mean, that makes sense, right? I want to. I want to try and get away from Earth as fast as possible. So if I like actually reorientate myself to straight like up, away from Earth, surely I want to not be at nine degrees because I'm not trying to achieve orbit. I'm trying to get away from Earth. Oh, so people are saying that the reason that you. Uh, one engine that burns fuel more slowly is because you use the Terrier engine at the top like they were telling you and it's way more efficient and that uh, has more than enough fuel to reach the moon as it is because it's super efficient. Right, okay. So there you go. Hmm. Okay, so it's a basic Terrier engine is so efficient I can just get to the moon that way. Apparently. Okay, now the orbit well, is... Well, because Vincent says in space you're f more efficient if you're burning at full throttle. You right. shouldn't go straight up. Uh, people are saying you should definitely not go straight up. Okay, so at Lovely this point... Lovely people of the chat. It doesn't help if you just say no, 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 no. You need to tell us what we're Yeah, because you're referring to no, 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 no of what happened like a lot of time ago. Like, actually, like, look at this, like... We've, we've got enough fuel to get massively out here somewhere, which is sufficiently far away from... Okay, that's going to put us on an intercept course with the moon. So I'm just going to um, actually, yeah, power down, power down, power down, power down, power down, power down, power down. We've still got a little bit of fuel here. That's... Okay. So, if I power down at this point, and now we just basically speed things up a little bit, how fast does the moon go? Because if we were just like... The other side of the world. I feel like we'd be doing all right here. Let's just warp up time here. Warp up some time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So all we need to do here is... Now we need to just basically start trying to correct a bit. All right. I think we can... We might be able to collide with the moon. Okay, so uh, Wildcat says, Wait until you reach uh, Apoapsis. Apoapsis, which is like indicated on your map. It's the highest Yeah, AP. Yeah, I see right? that. Yeah, AP. fine. I see that. Um, yeah. Once you reach AP, you need to fire prograde, so forwards, until your orbit intersects with the moons. Uh, thrusting at the moon, says Magres Polar Bear, is not the answer. You need to burn prograde towards the yellow marker. Make the maneuver, make maneuver nodes to figure out a good place to burn. Okay, I've just, I've done something thing where they say you can left click on your orbit, and I'm seeing these symbols. Wow. Well. Which... I'm, I'm recognizing, like, I'm assuming these refer to, hang on, this is, yeah, that means prograde, because look, the symbol matches, so pro, prograde, retrograde, okay, you should right and left. Okay, you uh, PE, or periapsis, mm -hmm. otherwise you will re-enter the atmosphere. At uh, PE? Yeah. Okay. I mean, right, okay. So what's what's the thing I need to do at the AP point? The the um apocalyptosis point. Uh, um, Add maneuver to to what? Uh, so once you're at AP, you need to uh, burn prograde to create a circular orbit. But we're already in a circular orbit. Aren't yeah, we? But we want to change into a different circular orbit. We want to we want to okay, I'm just going to we're just going to what's this thing? I don't know if I've, I've accidentally I might have accidentally I might have accidentally added a maneuver. I don't know how to get rid of that maneuver at this point. How do I get rid of a maneuver I've already accidentally put in? Because I don't know what that maneuver is, but I don't want to do it. Um, help. Uh, okay. We've we've not got much fuel left, but in theory, what I need to do is I need to get. I need to basically, if I just drift around here, by the time I get round here, maybe the moon will be like around here-ish. The words of the chat say anything about how I get rid of this maneuver I've accidentally put in that I don't even know which, what it is. It's just a splash. Uh, drag those markers. Drag. Okay, drag the markers. Yeah. There's, oh, 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 crikey! Right. Okay. No. 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 Okay. How do I just cancel this and start again? Because I feel like. Oh, okay. This is this is not good. Yeah. 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 There we, there we go. Right. Okay. What if I what if I just said okay this 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 marker right here yeah there, there we go right okay squidge 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 yeah okay what if I just basically put myself on a moon intercept course 
I mean, that seems like a good idea, right? A moon intercept course. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, a moon intercept course. Now, is that... What? Why does that change when I zoom in or out? That doesn't make any sense. What? When I zoom in or out, that changes. And that feels... Weird. That's... That's... What? Maneuver nodes don't actually do anything automatically. They're just for planning. I think you can right-click on it and click the X or something, uh, presumably to cancel it. Uh, uh, that was uh, Polar Bear. Uh, okay. Roger says cancel the maneuver by closing the yellow bar uh, by the nav ball. Closing the yellow bar by the nav ball. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay. Thank Got it. you. <laughs> Got it. Right, okay. Get rid of that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up time... And we're going to see what situation... We're just going to see what happens, like, where the moon is by the time I get out to being at my A, a point. Because if I'm lucky, the moon might be broadly in the roughly the right area by the time I'm coming back round. Because the moon's coming round here. And I'm going out naffing off over here. So... And I'm not burning fuel right now at all. So if I'm very lucky, by you the turn time... Turn your camera. Yeah. If you turn your camera. Yeah. Because, like, you're not apparently... You're not properly... What? Like, they're just saying uh, space is in 3D and you need to turn your camera to check, like, the dimensional. Ah, You can see how the ellipsis right. uh, um, yeah, that see. we're on is not on the same plane as the... It's pretty so close, it. though. It's, it's No, but not on the return. Not on the return, no. You were saying you wanted to intercept on the return. We'll get... We'll be pretty close, though. Okay, let's just... Well, slow, no let's, let's slow things down here. Let's slow things down, because the moon is now... You need to use the nodes, apparently, to do that, because the nodes are what helps you... Maneuver. The moon is now traveling faster than me. You so can also intercept the moon by clicking it, apparently. I, I can just intercept the moon by clicking it. That strikes me as very easy. Uh, right. Uh, click on the moon and set it as a target. Set, to tell set you where target the closest the encounter is. Closest encounter is marked as over here, but I'm not going to be able to get back over there. I don't have the next... I don't have enough fuel to do that. I need to... Uh, yeah, so you need to wait until you are at AP, and once you're at AP... That's when you plan your encounters. Okay. That's when you use the, the maneuver node to plan your encounters when you're at AP because that's the most efficient fuel wise. Okay. Right. Let's let that happen then because right now we're just drifting along and so's the moon. The moon is outspeeding me, which is odd because I've got engines and the moon doesn't. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's, that's a true the moon thing. Is on a stable, I mean, the moon is on a stable orbit and it. Gravity Screw you, life. moon! Screw you! <laughs> I'll get you sooner or later. If I just basically keep spinning, sooner or later, eventually, if I just basically just spin forever, I'll get it sooner or later, presumably, right? I mean, no, because you're not going to spin forever, because you're using fuel. Anyway... I'm not using any fuel right now. I think I'm in a stable orbit, except I thought that last time and I just ended up exploding. Uh, shout out to Tinskin, who uh, sent us a dollar earlier and then sent me a question. Um, uh, wanted to know if you've ever looked at the Bard's Tale. It's got a good, charming narrative that John's commentary would greatly improve on. Okay, right. We're approaching AP. I'm I've, gonna I've, put it on the list. Yeah. Skin. I've, I'm, I've, I'm approaching the AP. What is our next move, Claire? Um, now that we're at, at a... AP. Yeah. You uh, used the maneuver nodes. Yeah. You to target the moon. Add maneuver to what? Target moon. Un. Okay. We, it's already set as a target. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's already showing you the closest intersect point, which is still backwards. Well, I think it's just waiting for me to to do a full loop, presumably. It's waiting for me to do a full loop here, I think. Mm. I think it's waiting for me. I think it's what it's basically saying is I meet it on the next time round. Maneuver node adds a blue target to your nav ball and SAS control and a burn countdown timer. If you target the moon and drag the symbols, you can plan a course. It's easy, says Neil Marshall. It's <laughs> blue. Well, I'm, I'm already. If that's if that's that dark blue target there, I'm already on it officially. Yeah, but turn around in terms of like, because because the map is 3D, you need to check that in like you're on the same plane. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm inter I'm gonna intercept with its orbit there, but much of what that means, I'm gonna intercept with it, or just I'm gonna pass its orbit. No, because I mean it would. That would mean you have to do your whole circle in the same time that it does its whole orbit, and I'm not sure if it can count on that. Um, if I'm not sure if your 
maneuver node. I mean, what, whatever I do now, I'm not going to catch the moon on this rotation no. because the moon is, is going so much faster than me. I'd need to be going significantly faster than that. Unless, of course, does a, does a rocket go faster than the moon? No. Does it not? I'm going to assume How fast not. does the moon go? Like, pretty fast, right? I guess. I'm going to see if I can intercept the moon. Or maybe, you know, maybe I should just do a couple of laps of the, of like the earth. Because uh, it feels like I'm not going to, is that like a, a re-entry? Um, okay, the moon orbits the earth approximately once every 27 days. It, um, uh, it also takes approximately 27 days for the moon to rotate once on its axis. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. No, I don't. I'm going to see if I can maybe burn a bit of fuel while facing... Which way am I facing right now? If I'm facing to the... Where where the cock am I? Where's, where's the Earth? Yeah, I need to turn... Oh, sorry. The, the moon... Yes? ...moves 3,600 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. Yeah. That's really cocking fast. Okay. Um... Okay. Miles gave us five pounds and said you should burn prograde, otherwise there won't be a next time round your uh, periapsis is too low. Okay, well, screw you. I'm going to race the moon. <laughs> okay, um, well, good luck racing something that goes 3,683 kilometers per hour. How do I, how do I, this way, this way, this way, this way. Right. Well, I can go that fast too. Well, I don't need to, I don't need to race. I just need to, I just need to get to its orbit. I just need to get to its orbit. So now I'm facing roughly what I think is the right way, logically. To like get to the that's down now that's that seems about right right back into to back into moon mode I'm gonna slightly just thrust up a little bit here I'm gonna see what happens I'm just gonna add a little bit of thrust and we're gonna see what that changes in my orbit because now my orbit is now my orbit's expanding okay my orbit is currently expanding now if I was to also if I was to face up at this point if I was to go face up now my orbit ellipsis is flattening and getting closer to the moons. Okay. So if I if I just face up this way, my orbit's going that way into the moon. So now my orbit is expanding, but the problem is I'm I really wish you could have fuel on the same thing as this one. It's kind of annoying that you can't have fuel at the same screen as the as the map screen. Uh, there's probably a way to do that, but I don't know it right now. So I'm now going over to here. Now I'm gonna fuel down. Because at this point, look at that, now, now I've got an orbit that might bring me, uh, I'm probably not going to make it there. The problem is, okay, if we just speed that up a little bit at this point, presumably I'm, the moon's going to, yeah, the moon's going to get there way faster than me. Okay, but what if I wait for this next time to, let's just slow it down. Maybe, oh, oops, no, slow it down. You're, go, you're going much faster because you did the slingshot thing around the Earth. Yeah. The orbit effect. Yeah. Okay. So now, you now you've got to try and correct your course. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here just to see what things look like in terms of the moon. Because right now, it feels like now it feels like me and oh, the yeah. Uh, people are also saying that the solar system in in Kerbal Space Program and the actual moon are not are not exactly the same. The same. Okay. Yes, I did just Google how fast does the moon go. Obviously, I mean. Now I think at this point I'm now going faster than the moon. Velocity 542 m's per second. Just the Velocity... slingshot thing. Yeah, now I'm going twice as fast as the moon. But I'm not using up any fuel, and I'm not on a crash course with Earth. So if I just basically spin around the Earth repeatedly, sooner or later I'll get a good intercept course. Right? That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Seb sent us five pounds and said your orbit is inclined relative to the moon. So to explain uh, would take uh, way more space than you have available here. You need to launch due east from the pad. Well, we're a bit far from being launched from the pad now. So yeah, we're that's, figure that's out quite a long way away. Right. Your ignore that. Your closest approach is the light blue arrows. You need to make a maneuver to make those arrows intersect. What's my speed right now, by the way? Oh, my speed is, I really see that. Oh, hang on. Right, okay. Slow things down here. My speed right now is faster than the moon. And I'm close to the moon. I'm pretty close to the cocking moon right now. Okay. Let's just, just get, get, let's just get into, into Kerbal mode here. Where's the cocking moon? I see you there, you moony bastard. Right, Claire. We're on its tail now. Try and run from me, you fucker. Right, let's get on it. Let's get the fuck on it. 
We just need to- I'm, I'm so close to the moon, Claire. I'm so close to the moon right now, okay? The moon is gonna- I'm gonna make the moon mine, alright? It's gonna be fine. I just need to- no, not this way. No, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This- this way! This way. This- the orientation's a bit confusing. Right. I need to, like- I need to, like, get in front of the moon. Like, I'm a police officer, like, doing, like, a stop. Okay, now I just need to- I'm just gonna throttle up a little bit here. Throttle up- Burn retrograde now. Burn retrograde? No, I'm not, I'm not trying to intercept- I can't land on the moon, I'm just gonna- Actually, I could land on the moon. <gasps> Shit, I could land on the moon. Uh, Shit, shout Claire! Out to, shout out to Anna and I, Mags, who gave us five hands and said, I don't remember if I sent it already, but a, a couple of games from John, uh, for John, Thea and Niche, both have sexy exes. I'll put them on the list. Also, ask John, how do you expect to land on the moon? I've, I've got a parachute. Right, um, fine. If I just, if I... How do you expect to take back off the moon again? That was never part of the plan. Okay. Okay, how do I, how do I cock? How do I turn to, to the moon? Right, set, set as target. No, no target. Okay, which, which is the thing I have to aim for to get to the moon? Which is the thing I have to aim for? Is the, what colour is it? The blue thing? The blue thing, yeah, blue. Uh, people blue. are saying the yellow blue. cross retrograde. Ye yellow? On the moon. Oh, cock. I thought there was a blue thing. Isn't the blue thing important? Oh, what, what was that? You can't land on it, you don't have enough fuel. I, okay, uh, crash into it then. Okay. Burning retrograde will go through uh, a stable orbit before landing. Would you mean landing on Earth or landing on the moon? Because you, you guys probably all want to come back to Earth, but John just wants to crash on the moon. So. Okay, we are, I, we, we are turning in the right direction, but I, I really Oh, you missed it. You missed another intercept. What? Apparently. It's right cocking there. It didn't get past me. It's right in front of me. Also, the, the yeah, purple... The, the, the purples button. are going nuts. I don't even know what that purple is. What the cock is that purple? I think that's an asteroid that's about to take out Kerbal or wherever it is I live. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need uh, to... Yeah, you also said that you would use a parachute on the moon, which obviously you can't because there's no air. Someone said retrograde, right? Fire yeah. retrograde. A million people said retrograde. Okay, firing, re firing retrograde. But my 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 speed is still higher than the moon, but I don't want it to be too much higher than the moon. Because I, I don't... Right now, I'm not heading towards the moon. I need to get over here. I need to get to this point. All right, I need, to, I need to get to the moon. Set as the target of the moon. Where is the moon target? Wait, the, oh, cock. There's the yellow, yellow light. Where's the yellow? Well, there's yellow there. Is that the moon? Is that the... Why is the purple thing and how do I get rid of it? Because it's flickery and weird. I don't even know what that thing is. And people were just saying, like, zoom, zoom out. What the fuck is that this? That purple is the moon intercept. It's not that was... No, that's the sun periapsis. I don't know, John. It's the periapsis, Claire. I can't. I can barely see. It's too small for me to read. I don't, I don't like the periapsis. Uh, I just need to... It does sound dirty. Okay, screw it. Screw all this math business. For... Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Claire... Claire, we're almost out of here. Why am I going away from the moon? Why would anyone have told me to go away from the moon? Just, just get, no, 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 no. Okay, pro, pro, prograde, 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 prograde. Retrograde 100% throttle, says uh, the people. Prograde 100% throttle. No, they're all wrong. Activate throttle. Right, go, 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 go. Scores, he will slingshot past the moon and enter a solar orbit. Leaving his Kerbal in perpetual hell as he's going to fly past his home over and over again! Oh, you're going right out of the solar system. You the see, purple is your future trajectory, apparently. Right. Oh, my word. Well, I was going for the moon. Well, yeah, I know you were going I've for I've run the out moon. of fuel now, so I guess we may as well see where this one actually goes at this point. Um, just, just so just faster, speed faster, stop. Faster, yeah, so I got, I got close to the moon. And then the moon has slung me off into space. Now I've got no fuel. Um, so we may as well go up to 10,000 times speed. So now I'm... Where the cock am I going now? Uh, ten... Okay, so yeah. Now I've now I've naffed off from Kerbin, from Kerbin and the moon. And also an unknown object. Which is quite frankly a little bit unnerving that there's a random unknown object. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just naffing off over here. But presumably sooner or later I will hit something. I will land on something. Something good. Something... Okay. Shout out to Mary Reed, who gave us two pound, uh, $2 even, and said, uh, R.I.P. Bill Kerman. <laughs> yes, indeed. 
Uh, shout out to the Geek Cupboard, gave us uh, 10 pounds. I know those guys. I am delighted to report that, as predicted, the def- dictionary definition of shit show is being updated as we speak. Good work, John. Good Excellent. work. Um, oh. Cornell uh, gave us two Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and said John is a space god, Claire as well. This was a little bit before this episode, uh, obviously. Um... Yep, yep. So I'm basically just, I'm like, I'm just nearby to Kerbin. I'm just hanging out nearby to Kerbin, but I'm never actually getting close to it. Uh, and this time, by the way, like, days are passing in seconds. This guy's just spent weeks in isolation at this point with no yeah. chance of ever so, getting um, home. Kyle said, Kyle gave us five dollars, says, basic rule, the further you are from the planet, the slower your orbit. So if you want to let something catch up, you have to go further and then reverse. Further um, and then reverse. Okay. Uh, Kaiser Skippy gave us $20, uh, wanted to know if you are planning on ever playing The Long Dark. Uh, yes, actually, definitely at some point. Mm. I was uh, vaguely planning to do it at cr- last Christmas, as a Christmas Day special, a cheery, cheery Christmas Day special, uh, but then Hitman had a special Christmas episode, so I did that instead. So maybe they'll show up at this Christmas Day, I'm not sure. Alexander Schmidt says, uh, no, you won't hit anything, space is quite big and quite empty with your fuel reserves, you won't be able to get back, you are lost in space. I, when you say fuel reserves, there's literally no fuel reserves, there's no, there's no fuel. Does anyone know where Kerbin is? It's around here somewhere. I think it's, I don't know where it is. Right, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jettison, 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 back to normal, jet, there we go, I've jettisoned. I mean, that doesn't help me very much. Uh, uh, okay, I've got, I've got an idea. Mm-hmm. I've got an idea. The idea is we're going to have you EVA, and then we're gonna <laughs> have him uh, let no. go, and then we're just gonna have him float oh, no! off John! into the sun. Oh, John! No! We're just gonna, we're just gonna. Here he is. There he is, and off that thing now. Oh, do you have a jetpack? Someone's saying you should push with the jetpack. Uh, I don't seem to. Uh, oh I... no, just uh. Well, I've got I've got the ability to spin. I wonder if I could get him back by himself. No, <laughs> that's probably over the... not. Probably not. No. What's my current? If I, I mean, I've I've got I've got the ability to to I think just spin actually. But, um, right. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure that's actually doing me much good, to be of honest. Of course it's not doing you much good! <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, press R for your RCS pack. RCS pack? I don't know. Jetpack is RCS, apparently. You can press R for it. Yeah, okay. Well, I can, I can spin. I can spin. And that's right. that's about it actually. That's that's broadly it. It's broadly it right there. Nice. Don't know where Kerbin is. It's out there somewhere. It's it's sufficiently far away. I've, I've lost it. It's now just and there goes the module. But in all fairness, it wasn't doing much good anyway. As I think we just basically. I think this is probably where we leave it. Don't you say, Claire? In this this uh, this yeah. this moment right here. We have yeah 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 yeah. We have um. As the module naffs off and we just mm-hmm. stare at the sun. Uh, JB says, this is why you don't let the ancient history guy run a space program. Uh, a bubble gave us $10 and said, uh, John, you may not realize this, but your classics degree is showing. Bless your heart, <laughs> mate. Oh, thank you very much indeed for those kind words. Uh-huh. Uh- <laughs> I think I'm actually going at speed, by the way. I think I'm actually traveling at, at speed right now. Because this thing is not at zero. So I think I'm just like sparring through space, just different speed to everything else and there goes there goes the crew thing bye bye little you're ship moving, you just can't tell because you don't have anything close enough to give you a proper perspective mm, i guess i am mark on it says we can save him if we actually can just tell us how like, that would be i guess it's like you know space. actually send a rescue mission or something but uh i i, I doubt i'm gonna be capable I mean, I, what, do you th- what i think they mean is theoretically it's possible to rescue him not that i could no no no, 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 of course not. Um, shout out to Kyle, who uh, says, Claire, thank you for being so helpful at passing info to John. I'm not sure I was. <laughs> you tried your best. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have quite a few messages uh, left over from earlier. Oh, go on, go chat. on then. As Sorry, as we uh, about that, they have built up a bit more than usual. But uh, shout out to our uh, good friend Robert Wisawati. Robin Wisawater. Thank you. He gave us five dollars and said hi, Claire, John, and Tabby. Uh, running on no sleep because of watching all thirteen episodes of Punch in One Night. Send help, please. Um, poor John, he's run out of Preacher to watch now. So I have. I've I've finished Preacher. Which is very sad. I hope they make season three pretty quick. I've been enjoying that show. Uh, shout out to Charlie Mieville, Melville, even, who uh, gave us two dollars and uh, was saying, Have you thought of making an Oh No Steve shirt? Shh. We could do something based on Steve. At some point, we might be able to do some Stevie, much. yes. Um, oh. Shout out to Rue3D, who gave us ten Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, said hi John I'm glad to see you're playing KSP will this be a new series no uh, yeah uh, another person who says if they could have a ship named after them it would be awesome but just uh, surprisingly enough you didn't kill enough ships to make that happen for everybody mm -hmm. um, shout out to Martin uh, who gave us 500 uh, Danish krona and said thank uh, you very much indeed it's time to spend that rocket back to Earth with like little emojis, uh, which, yeah, that was quite optimistic for this particular mission. That was but, a little uh, yeah. optimistic, yes. And also to Paul Wilson, who uh, gave us $2 and said, I really needed this this afternoon. Thank you very, very much. Mm -hmm. um, mostly caffeine. I gave us £7 and wanted to know, uh, I'm trying to figure out a John verse timeline here. Is this all before or after the ducks took over? This is possibly how the ducks took over. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, she also suggested, uh, uh, they also suggested, sorry, a ship name, uh, The Inevitability. I like that. That's a good ship name. Yeah, yeah, That's a yeah, nice yeah, ship yeah. name. Um, shout out to Jowl, who, oh, by the way, they're still donating super fast right now. So <laughs> this is going to keep going for a little bit. Because <laughs> since I started, there's like four more donations. So... <laughs> Uh, Jowl gave us uh, $33 and said, Hey John, I just got back from Australia and your videos saved me from a boring 14 hours flight. This is the $30 I promised you a few weeks ago as well as $3 for crisps. Ah, oh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, love you. So that's uh, that's very nice. Uh, and yeah, we'll just shout out to uh, Storm who gave us $5 and said I just came home from a stressful day at work. Oh, I will try our best. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sending out the Argo No Two just to see if the same Wibbly happens, or whether that was just a one-off. Oh, seriously. If that was a, if that was just a one-off thing, if that, maybe that's going to keep happening, I'm not sure. Shout out to you, Vicky Cohen, who gave us twenty dollars and said nothing helpful. But thanks for entertaining me while editing all the way through the second draft of my book. Yeah, it happens every time, as it turns out. But actually, now there's only one thing. Maybe it'll just kind of level off a bit. And I should just let that one burn. Because that one's got loads of fuel. So logically, if yeah. I just let that one burn, then I should just basically let it just keep going up on this one before I start oh burning God, the second oh God, set. not again. There we go. It's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just basically keep it going up. And if it starts going at 45 degrees because it wibbles over there, then that's fine. That's exactly what it's supposed to. I'm supposed to be going at 45 degrees or something because I'm at like over 10,000 meters. So this is entirely intentional. Yeah, there we go. I uh, shout out to Yannick who gave us $5 and said, uh, ground control to Major John. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Can you hear me, Major John? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He can't hear you. He can't hear anyone because everything's dying inside or something. There we go. That's more like it. I just, wanted, I just wanted to reset my direction to be more like the 90 degrees that we know we need to do. Or, nine, yeah, 90 degrees at 45 degree angle. Like, yeah, that thing. <laughs> that makes that no, no, no at, at 45 degrees. The giant cock is at 45 degrees, yeah, but in the direction of 90%. That's, oh, I see that's, what you're saying. yeah, you see. That's the important thing. Okay. Shout out to Jonathan, who gave us 100 Norwegian krona and says you should turn up SAS on before the launch. If you don't start rotating, the D key takes you east 90. Uh, also, don't burn till you know you're burning in the right direction uh, and burn at the top. Excellent, uh, and I think we're rapidly approaching the 40k. And this time, having been a bit more sensible, we've actually managed to keep it to. Uh, we'll be at yeah 40. We'll be at 40k uh, 
and then we'll be able to go to the 90 straight away. So now I'm going to go over to 90 degrees at 40, 40k up, as we discussed. So this should now be, with plenty of fuel left on this first round, this should now put us into a... This should put us into an orbit with plenty of fuel remaining, or rather this should now start creating an orbit, if we understand this correctly, and it looks like that's indeed what is happening. Uh, yeah, also Jonathan gave us uh, $5 and says uh, apoapsis is the point where your orbit is the slowest and periapsis is where you are at your fastest. Anyways, having a, a blast watching uh, this stream. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I think, I don't know, I mean, uh, at this point, what, which point is what uh, and what we have to do with it, I think it's getting a little bit more. Getting a lot of like slightly conflicting information. Oh, um, I'm, well, it's it's quite. A, I, I imagine it's quite a complex game where there's a lot of different views as to what you what should or shouldn't do. What? Doing the tutorials. I did some of the tutorials a bit. Did you? I did. I actually did. Yes. Uh, shout out to Landolin who gave us two dollars and said that you should use the Terrier engine as your last stage. I think that's what we. Have I think now. we have. I think the Terrier engine is the last stage. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but maybe I need a. I just need like a couple of extra tanks of fuel because even I then I feel to a make bit. Sure that I have everyone, you know, because sometimes it's just difficult to say exactly at the right time. So I just want to make sure everyone's acknowledged. Uh, shout out to Red Hydra who gave us two trillion dollars and wanted to know if you're going to do a Mass Effect Three Insanity run. I wasn't planning to any time soon, to be honest. Uh, there we go. Shout out to Breck who gave us ten dollars and said a minimus is easier than the moon and it's made of mint ice cream. Nice. Look, I'm in favour of anything that's made of ice cream, to be honest. Um, right, still plenty of fuel and we've made the orbit and then we're gonna start now just getting further and further out. And then if we can just basically just slightly yeah, the orbit is now expanding. And at this point I say this orbit is looking much more in line with the moons not perfectly but it's it's much less bad than it was because i've tried to keep the the rotation about level so yeah. <clears throat> so as a result it should be all right so now we just basically speed up time a little bit here uh speed up time come well while under effect ah fine i just need to mm -hmm. wait for a time for the moment at least and then liquid fuel still over half in position now just wait for the uh, the apocolosyntosis point to be at roughly the same level. Prepare to drop that when need be. Just keep it full at the moment, but be prepared to hit, yeah, X the moment you you don't want that to expand anymore. So just ready with that X key. The moment the AP point is at roughly the trajectory as the moon, and that will be fine. And then just wait for it, and boom. Maybe just a tiny bit, tiny bit of thrust, tiny bit of thrust, tiny bit of thrust. There we go. That's the one. Right, so. Now, we have got ourselves, not perfect, but it'll flip and do. Now we just turn off the fuel. How much fuel do we have left at this point? We've still got half the tanks. We've got way more than we had last time. You need to stop accelerating, please. I've stopped accelerating. Okay. And now we just basically wait to see what's going on. Now, obviously, we're nowhere near the moon right now, but probably what I want to do at this point is just do one rotation just for the sake of getting my speed up because this this one's nowhere near the moon that's fine oh okay that's fine then we're just passing by the moon now this one this one is the one where we start thinking about because hang on what's the plot that as target so descending node 6.2 so i'm guessing what that means is if i if i were to put the right order in here then at that point I would I would add a maneuver to to which would put me on an intercept with the moon. Mm. But I don't know what the maneuver it wants is. It's node in because it's saying descending node minus six point two percent. What does that mean? I I don't know what that means. Estimated burn zero, node in 40 minutes and approaching. Uh your periapsis is probably too low. Okay, you know I'm sensitive about that, and I don't like you mention that in front of the chat. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the cock do we do to get that, to do that burn? I have no 
idea. I really don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help out, but I'm like super confused. Like, I get that means at this point I need to do some form of burn to put myself on an intercept course with the moon. The ascending and descending nodes aren't the closest places. The light blue mark on the orbit are the close approaches. Like this over here. Closest approach. Yeah, okay. Wow. Right, closest the, approach. Okay, the purple triangle, you drag that a little bit until you get a moon encounter. Purple triangle? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it says this is the closest approach, so okay, let's... but I think that might be in the... when you uh, try and plan a manoeuvre node. Okay, so pur purple triangle. Yeah. Right, okay, that... that ooh, ooh, but that's... I don't see how that helps me. Well, that's plotting a course for you, so if you get that to... Uh, get, get rid of that, right, just... okay, try, try the other purple triangle. Yeah, purple triangle, and then... And then if I, ah, if I put that to... Yeah, that's a collision course. Yeah? I mean, we call that an intercept course, not a collision course. Sorry. Uh, I, I guess I'm a bit lost. It's that... Yes, it's... we know! But at that point, like, that can't... Or is that saying at the, the, the next... The next time it burns. Let's just speed up time a little bit here. Let's just. Yeah, Seb gave us two pounds and said, uh, because of relative inclination, use pink. I think he's just calling it purple, but it's quite pink, so. Right, we're not we're not, we're not hitting the moon on this time anyway. Let's let's just let's just do another rotation. Get my speed up and let the moon come round here, because we'll just kind of do another rotation. That'll get my speed way up faster than the faster than the actual uh, moon is. Then we'll be way faster than the moon. Right. Okay. Right, and then just speed things up a little bit here. Now, now we're way faster than the cocking moon, but the moon's getting away from us. So I think we might just want to keep spinning for a bit until we happen to come up with a good point where we intercept with the moon. So just do another spin. Yeah, that's fine. We're just in a good stationary orbit right now. And then just speed it up again. Speed it up again. Speed up again, and uh, now just... Shout out Alexander in the chat says he just made it worse. Okay, I noticed that on this occasion, I'm going to get pretty close to the moon, because the moon is going to mess up my orbit and toss me off into space like the other guy. So that's probably a really good sign that if I was to do some form of very careful controlled burn, I might be able to hit yeah, I mean, the moon. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. So if I was to retrograde like close by to the moon right on the periapsis then are you just using words yes maybe <laughs> shut up you but it almost sounded like i knew what i was talking about for a second yeah but you're you so okay right clearly <laughs> the moon is going to start throwing us into problems about here this is going to be the problem i think we could hit the moon i think we could hit the moon about here all right we've we've got a good intercept with the moon going on damn it we can make this work all right this is going to be the finale we're either going to hit the moon or die trying probably the latter um uh -huh. uh, <laughs> shout out to ethan who gave us 30 dollars and said y'all are the best and deserve to know it i've been watching this channel since i read an article about john's fallout new vegas yolo run and i've been watching ever since never change friends peace and love skate or die it strikes me as, thank you very much, it strikes me as really weird, by the way, that the moon's got a big black atmosphere around it that literally blocks out the sun. That's weird, right? I mean, I don't think that's, like, an atmosphere, I don't... Well, what is it then? It's probably just an in-game thing? Yeah, it's kind of odd, though. Uh, right, okay. We're just, we're just, okay, people, we need, <laughs> we need advice now on how I'm going to hit the damn moon. How am um... I going to hit the moon? Okay, let's just let's just speed okay, this. Okay, uh, shout out to Ian, uh, to Yannick, sorry, who gave us two dollars and said, "Are you just using words?" Claire strike, strikes again. He knew what I meant, though. And uh -huh. also shout out to Joshua, who also gave us two dollars and actually said retrograde at the periapsis was a hundred percent correct. So if we knew what that <laughs> means, that would be really great. Well, here's the moon periapsis. So we are really good. Well, that's the at moon. Thinking, knowing what we're Okay, here is the moon periapsis. So if I fire retrograde here, presumably I slow myself down enough that I get sucked into the moon That's... rather than being flung around it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
It still sounds real dirty, but whatever. Well, I'm not saying I'm being sucked off by the moon. I'm just <laughs> saying we're being sucked into the moon. It's different. <laughs> Claire has a very a mature <laughs> sense of humor. No, Claire no, has no, a very no, mature no, no, sense no, of no, humor. No, I'm thinking about a very specific joke in Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, what? What just occurred? What? Something... Wait, what? What? Did you get blown up and we didn't see it? No! I don't know what just happened, but now the frame rate's cocking tanking. And what is going on? Right, okay. Um, well, time's going by. Let's just slow time right down here. Slow time right down. We're... Yeah, possibly because there's so much physics going on right now. The game has started weirdly lagging. Um, now we are... What I need to do at this point is... My current thing is, yeah, I need to... If I retrograde to slow down here, retrograde, right, spin to retrograde, <laughs> and then begin putting a bit of thrust, that will that's slow... That's normal. People are saying that's normal. You're doing it right. Give it time. It will flip itself up. Okay. I'm just going to sl I'm gonna slowly introduce some retrograde for the sake of presumably pulling my orbit Roger in... Roger says he's learning. He's not learning. Towards really the moon. Lucky. Towards the moon... If I just pull the retro, yeah, because now the line is bringing me towards... Full throttle towards the yellow cross, John. Full throttle towards the yellow cross. Well, I'm on the yellow I'm on the yellow cross right now. Now I'm, I'm retrograding. How much flipping... How much flipping fuel do okay, I have? Okay, I've okay. got enough fuel. You transferred into the moon's gra gravitational well. This is why some stuff went weird. Ah, you I think we've actually got ourselves. Well. Okay. Please burn retrograde at the periapsis. I am burning retrograde right now. And I think mm -hmm. I've got a... No, 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 not now. You need to wait for the periapsis. I don't know. The periapsis is way over there. I'm, I think I've already got an intercept. Oh, I've almost got an intercept course. Okay. Just a little bit more. I just need a little bit more. Just wait until the periapsis, though. Like, they were right all along. Yeah, but that periapsis is really close. Okay. That looks like an intercept course to me. It's in space. It's not very close. Anyway. I'd say that's... I'd say we've got an intercept course with it. Or really close to an intercept course. Okay. Let's go Let's go above the moon here. Because I want to approach the shallow angle. All right. Just a little bit more. 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 I want to hit the moon. I'm gonna stop, hit. Stop, I'm stop, hit. stop, wait at the periapsis. Periapsis, periapsis, at the periapsis. This is the chat right now. There we go. That That's an intercept course. That is absolutely an intercept course. Okay, we are getting to the cocking moon. Getting to the moon. You will crash. Yes, listen to Claire. Just wait, please, wait until PE. Please wait for FFS. Uh, well, P I think it's a bit late for P now. P is now literally inside the moon. Okay, it's okay. It's, it's fine. They, they. If he burns at P, he will get a stable orbit. If he burns now, he will crash into the moon. Either is a good finale. Mm -hmm. Yes, Magros polar bear. That is an excellent point. But the the the, the, the crash. But the apocalyptosis point was literally right next to the cocking moon. Yeah. Okay, if I if I <laughs> if I prograde out a little bit, how much fuel? I just no, make no, sure don't do it, don't do it. You might like miss it all together. I've got enough fuel. I've got enough fuel at this point. Shout out to Captain Carnage who gave us uh, two uh, Canadian dollars and said that's a collision course, John. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna prograde until the P. Okay, there we are. Now we've got a PE that is no longer on the moon. Okay, there we are. Okay, now everyone's saying wait till the PE. All right, so now the moon's, the moon's, like, periapsis is now in space again. So now we're just going to go over there, all right? But what do they need, what do they want me to do? Do they, need, do they want me to um, retrograde when I'm at the periapsis? Yes! Right, okay. Well, then let's get in there. Well, let's get in there then. It's fine. There we go. We are just moving in. To the moon. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Will who gave us five pounds and said I'm hugely concerned that John got a further in this than me. And also, a collision course is the correct terminology in my opinion. Okay, yeah, here we go. Sure here true. we go, you stupid massive bastard! I'm coming for you. I'm getting down onto the moon. All right, I can land because I've got a parachute. Remember to set it. No, no, you can't land because you have a parachute. 
Parachutes do not work on the moon. There is no atmosphere. There is no air. Parachute will not open. There will not be like any kind of traction. There's nothing. Okay. To the parachute. No. 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 Die. No. Then all I need to do is I just need to jump out. I need to jump out when I close because then I can use my jetpack because there's no gravity. Mm -hmm. Huh? Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you're probably wrong. Shut up. Okay, in we come, in we come, in we right, come, in um... we come, in we come, in we come, in we come. So I need to hit retro retrograde, right? Mm -hmm, retrograde, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Activate. I'm turning. I'm Turn turning around. Retrograde. I'm turning to retrograde now. We will activate retrograde at the point of P. Did you provide sound effects? <laughs> I just said boop boop. <laughs> I thought you were going boop boop. I said, yeah, that's the noise of retrograde. Look, <laughs> like I'm tired. All right. <laughs> in we come. In we come. Right. Uh. Okay. Uh, I'm JB gonna, uh, says, remarkably, John is doing better than 99% of the people who play this game. From nothing to the moon in five hours is good going. Okay, uh, here we go. Here we cock and go. Right, let's just get a little bit closer. Let me just slow it down. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. And let's just re reduce it to 10x speed. Right, okay. Now, is this a time warp? Huh? Uh, you can warp to a point if you set a point in an orbit, yes. Okay. And then we've got the... Oh, cock, it's the moon! Cocking. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Yeah, but it's pretty big. Yes. It's pretty cocking big. Of course it's, of course it's big. Well, now I'm intimidated by it. It's bigger than I was expecting. Right, just a little bit closer, just edge closer, five times speed. So I have to just slow. Okay, but the thing is, okay, chat. When I start hitting the retrograde, when I hit the periapsis, what does that? I mean, like, how is that different from what I already did? Like, how is that any different? Because I was already going to be on, like, a collision course with the moon. This is just going to move me into a collision course with the moon. So I don't see how this is any different now. I mean, didn't you want to be on a collision course Well, yes, with the but moon? I, I don't see why everyone was like, you must wait for the periapsis to do that. I don't understand. T uh, minus because they thought that you would lose your collision course if you did it too early? I don't know. Right. Collision. Okay. Periapsis. T minus 23 seconds. T minus 23 <laughs> seconds. Polar Bear says, stop with the performance anxiety and burn retrograde. Well, no, you've been specifically telling me the moon periapsis do not burn retrograde until moon periapsis. We are ready to burn, but not until I hit the cocking periapsis, all right? All right, all right, all right. Right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Activating fuel right now. What do you want me to actually do? Presumably you want me to actually hit the moon, right? Okay, hang on. Z yeah. Zoom out and now hit retrograde. Hit retrograde. Ah, you're wanting? Are they wanting me to form an orbit around the moon? Yes. But that's not. I want. Don't want to do that. I want to get to the cocking surface. But you can't. Yes, I can. No, your jetpack has limited fuel. You can't slow down enough. Thank you, Captain Carnage. For two Canadian dollars, but, in that explanation, that actually makes sense. But that's not fair. I want to get down to the moon. All right, please, Chad, tell us how to crash into the moon. Well, I know how to crash into the moon. Please, just... You can't land, John. You didn't never planned for landing on the moon. I meant to crash into the moon. I never planned to be in a position where we might actually be, like, circling the moon, which we are, which I'm pretty bloody pleased with, that we're orbiting the moon. But I'm going down there. Oh, it's... Is that what the channel is? Like, oh, you've got to do the parapsis because they actually wanted me to, to form a stable orbit yes. rather than crash. Well, I wanted to crash into the moon. The, the chat has completely misunderstood the objective here. Gee, I wonder why. Right. Well, I continue activating retrograde. All we're going to do is, okay, I know the jetpack has limited fuel, but if I jump out at absolutely the last minute when we're approaching, a, a, like really at a shallow angle, because there's no atmosphere, there's no burning anyway, right. Continue activating this. Okay, go, 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 here we go. To crash into the moon, just keep burning retrograde. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, there we are. Just stay pointing retrograde, burning slowly. Okay, there we go, there we go, Just keep burning. There we go, there we go, Yes, he did want to suicide into the moon, that's exactly I am not suiciding. I am coming in for a landing. Yeah, keep burning retrograde if you want to crash. Okay, there we are. No, I'm not, I'm not crashing. I'm you not... can jump and jetpack onto the surface, says Racer Cohen. Ha! One person believes in me. Right, okay. 
Here's what we're gonna do. That's I don't know. They're choosing to spend their free time watching you doing this. Shut so. up, Claire. I'm just gonna make the angle as shallow as possible. You see this? Oh, look okay, at this. Okay, okay, Kyle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this incredibly shallow angle Kyle. I'm coming in at. Yes. Gave us two dollars and said orbiting the moon makes the landing softer. That's why we want you to orbit, is because then you won't crash as bad. Okay, get rid of this, because I don't need that interceptor point. Okay, what I'm doing is I've deliberately set this um, this thing as, like, the shallowest approach possible. Because then, presumably, my descent will be, in terms of, like, numbers, will be incredibly small. So I'll be able to pick the, the moment very, very sensibly to actually kind of come in. And actually start hitting the moon. Because we're just going to be very slowly approaching the moon. So we're just going to slightly speed this up at this point. And now, what should start happening momentarily is this this altitude counter should start going down. There it is. Right. So now, the altitude counter is going down. That's absolutely fine. So, all I can do at this point is, when we get sufficiently close by to the moon, like, what are people... What, what does the chat say? Like, maybe under a thousand meters? Like, is a kilometer fall in low gravity with a jetpack acceptable? Uh, let's see what they have to say about that. Let's see that. what they have to say, because we're now coming up on the moon. And now I have no way of technically landing in my lander, because people are saying the parachute's not going to work. But now we're coming in nice and slowly. Yeah, here we go. Here we flipping go. Um, we can get onto the moon. Okay, you're weirdly vertical. Uh, so? Does that matter? Well, I don't know. I just thought that perhaps... It would be a smoother landing if you... Well, I'm not, I'm not landing in this thing. This thing's still, like, quite a long way off the flipping everything. Oh, fair enough. It just doesn't really look like that because the game... Right, there we are. Well, I've, I've gone yeah, ourselves... Yeah, just hold retro and burn now. Burn all your fuel in retrograde. Why? What's the point? Because apparently that's how you land. Yeah, but that's just going to make it so that I'm... That's just going to make it so that the approach angle is steeper because then I'll be coming in steeper and I don't want to come in steeper. I want to come in as shallow as possible. That's the whole point. So, uh... Um, you can burn retrograde to slow down. This is probably enough fuel to make a proper soft landing. I don't... I don't trust myself to do that. Yeah, sure. I, I'm more comfortable doing an EVA and then basically the moment we get wait, wait, wait. to... you're more comfortable... Like literally jumping out of the ship with a yes. parachute. Yes, yes, I am. Backpack. Yes, I am. Jump, and now just zoom away. Well done. We made it to the moon. We were on the moon, not for long, but we were there. We made it to the moon. We are on the moon. Okay? Moon. Right here. This is our moon now. This is this is this is no longer an unsullied virgin moon. This is now our moon. This was not an unsullied virgin moon. Who got there first? Where's America? their address? Where's my baseball bat? And my shotgun. We made it to the moon and we were the first there. And that's important for no well-explained reason. What I, I love... You know what? I don't think Buzz Aldrin has ever punched anyone in the face <laughs> because they were mad that he got there first. That's, that's, I, I, that's I, good because he didn't. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I should have jumped sooner and then jetpacked faster. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our Kerbal Space Program stream. I hope you acknowledge. I think that was went pretty well, actually. Oh yeah. I, I think, think that was, was a great stream. I think that was a great cocking stream. Oh god, Claire, what have you got to tell us? I'm sure you've got some catching up to do. Shout out to oh, a bubble who uh, gave us ten dollars. Thank you very much indeed. Back at ground control, there's a problem. Go to Rocket's Fuel, not responding. Hello, Major John, are you receiving? Turn Aww. the stress on, we're standing by, there's no reply. Oh. Sad face. Uh, when you, uh, when you uh, died the first time, um, when you didn't manage to get to the moon the first time, mm -hmm. Joshua Jensen uh, just sent us uh, $2 and said, time for sandbox, you've earned it. Oh. <laughs> so I don't think we're doing that just now. No, I think it, we're going to wrap this up as we're coming up on four hours. I think that's a perfectly length, a perfectly good stream, especially as we made it to the moon. Yes, made Great Morality gave us five dollars and said I managed to get a solar orbit while trying to crash. Success. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so yeah, that's true. I mean, we weren't planning on that, but uh, Spartany uh, gave us two. Pounds. I mean, what I should have done is actually hit the. I should have actually oh. staged. I should have staged because then I'd have got rid of the big explosive thing. Uh, hey, uh, some other guy part two electric boogaloo. Excellent name. It always a good name. Uh, just gave us a hundred dollars. Oh wow! Thank uh, you very much indeed. What a successful moon landing. Mm -hmm. Also, they've all been writing moon like that. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. No. <laughs> that's how it's spelled in the game. That's how it's spelled in the game. In the game, yes. That's how moon is actually spelled, Claire. No, Don't I know panic. it's not. But you have been known to try and make me believe stupid things about how stuff in English is pronounced. Yeah, Vinegar was the best. Yeah, well, Vinegar didn't work and neither, neither did Microwave. Sh All right? Yeah. I choose to remember they both worked. No, they um, didn't. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's wrap this up. We're coming up on flipping nine. Uh, Spartan E gave us two pounds and wanted to know if you were planning to do a Papers, Please stream. Uh, I've already done a video and I'm not sure the stream would really add very much. And because it's quite intensive, I'm not sure it would really suit the stream format. Yeah, I don't think we'd basically have no time to take comments. And yeah, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't have time to take comments for the most part. So I don't think it would necessarily be a good live stream candidate. Um, because also the days are so relatively short and you work through people so quickly. By the time you could give me any advice on them, that person would already be gone. So with the latency that's inherent to the live stream format, I think it would just not be a great experience for anyone. Yeah, uh, Great Morality gave us five uh, dollars. Uh, great Morality donated repeatedly so, in this stream. Thank uh, you so much, Great Morality. Including uh, a ridiculous donation earlier. Mm -hmm. So uh, he says, uh, seems fitting that the Arg Oh No went on such a long voyage. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really, really nice. Uh, and then the Arg Oh No 2 landed on the moon. That's true. Yeah. It did briefly. It was a brief landing, but it was a landing regardless. Yeah, uh, Wolfred gave us five Australian dollars uh, and uh, said, John, we know you are pardoned from the rules of science, but please, real scientists are dying from all the face palming over here. <laughs> well, I've made it to the moon. How many real scientists have made it to the moon? Screw the lot of you. A few of them. So um, so a few. No, those nerds just put the real men on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and the other one that no one remembers the name of. Okay. Tim something. Shout out to Ice Shard. Penman, I think. Yeah, shout out to Ice Shard, who gave us $20 uh, and said, I'm happy I got home just in time to see some of this stream. Uh, and and uh, shout out to Neil Marshall, who uh, gave us £2, another regular donor today. Says, John is a space genius. I am a space Bumbled genius. A that is orbit. absolutely true. Mm -hmm. uh, Great Morality gave us another £5 to say... Uh, you should get vertical and use thrusters to slow descent when you were trying to land. Uh, Kyle also gave us $2. Uh, thank you to the three separate Kyles who were really helpful, uh, giving a lot of actually useful donations and comments, but also being... Thank confusing. you to the people who were actually useful, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, he said you can land in your ship if you keep burning retrograde. Mm. Uh, Micah... Uh, gave us ten dollars and said, "Mad bastard did it, and now he's dead." <laughs> he <laughs> shall be remembered forever on the weird black monolith of memorials. Wolfred gave us five Australian dollars and said, "Time for a cup of tea on the moon. The Kerbal looks like he needs it." Oh wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Metacliff gave us two dollars and twenty-two cents and said, "Jumping from a crashing plane does not help." It's not a plane. It's like a rocket. It's even there worse. was no other way to land, and I had a jet pack. All there right. Many other ways to land. People were telling you them. Yes, I know, but that one, my one struck me the easiest way. I just, I just left it a bit late to jump out. I kind of feel like when I jumped out, the like the rocket would go zooming ahead of me, and then they'd be far apart. But then, of course, I forgot there's no thrust, so it wouldn't make any sense. Also, there's no atmosphere because, like, like a ton of feathers weighs the same as a ton of steel. Anyway, shout out to Jackster who gave us ten dollars and said, "Here's some funds. Since I missed this, I guess I have to re-click the bell." Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. you missed it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. And are we all done there? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, someone in the ch Mate in the chat is saying. Uh, YouTube won't allow me to do donations. Uh, John, give me your bank details or something. We're not going to do that. But there is uh, PayPal. However, there is PayPal uh, on, yeah, or Patreon. To, if you go to manyatruna.com, mm -hmm. there is a support us page. Yep. And there is details on there. There to, is PayPal uh, and Patreon if either of those are more to your fancy. Thomas says you could have slowed down, John. Pfft, come on. No, I he could, couldn't. I could have. 
That's not how I live, Thomas. I like my spaceships like I like my women. <laughs> On fire and in many pieces. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm glad you didn't go away fast. But still. <laughs> Oh, Travelling at several thousand miles per second and screaming. <laughs> Burning retrograde. <laughs> I'll burn your retrograde. And the periapsis. <laughs> I'll retrograde your peria. <laughs> okay, we have to stop. We have to stop. We have to arrange dinner because we didn't buy anything today, so we need to just get some takeaway or something. I'm going to buy some takeaway now. Uh, it's good. I want a milkshake. You want a milkshake? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've deserved one. We didn't land on the moon. <laughs> okay, that was on you. That wasn't on me. I told you about retrograde and the periapsis, all right? I did my bit. <laughs> all I right, had to say so a lot much. of silence. Oh, God. It was hard. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, so very, very much for joining us on this madness. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've hugely enjoyed it. This has been great fun. I think it's been a great stream. So thank you for joining us. Uh, we will have, uh, just in case you're, like, you're coming a bit late and you don't have time to catch it now and you want to catch it later, we'll put it out like properly on the channel as usual, probably on Monday. I'll see if I feel like it's worth making of highlights. I think this might be worth a highlights video. If so, that'll come on Wednesday, uh, I think. So all of that to come very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Many a True Nerd. Thank you all so very, very much for joining us in Kerbal Space Program. Thank you to those who showed up. Thank you to the Super Chat donations. You've been very generous today. That's much appreciated. It keeps us going. Thank you all to the sponsors. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to literally everyone whatsoever. <laughs> and indeed, just in general. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, we forgot to say thank you to the new sponsors. We're going to say thank you to the new sponsors. Claire's getting the sponsors up. I'm bringing them up. We're bringing the new sponsors. We didn't... Claire... Damn it, Claire. 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 You're running out of time. Was that your Jack Bauer impression? No, That's that a... was just like... I it's, like it's, the word it's like Jack Bauer is played by Cletus the Slack George <laughs> Yokel. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, where from? Where from? Where from? Lovely people from here. From here, thank you very much to Benjamin Rich, to uh, Kaiser Skippy, and to Ellis Lipka. Thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> right, we're going now. We're going now. Bye.
We're whalers on the moon, we carry a harpoon, but there were no whales, so we tell tall tales and sing our whaling tune. <laughs>